another massive fucking fart. Oh, fuck the show. Go okay, ahead. okay, that's it. Go ahead and rip a fart. Go Here ahead. we go. Here it comes. I warned you, you motherfucker. Uh, I warned you. Here we I go. Really, I'm sorry. I am too. <laughs> My <laughs> eyes are watering from that nonsense. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> oh, you should. I finally get where are you going. You get back here. <laughs> Does the body good? <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> All right, who is it? Hey, Ma, who is that? Huh? Can I tell him the fuck off? Huh? Why not? What are they going to do? Oh, I think I got another fart coming. Oh, I got oh, another God. fart coming. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm pulling a gassy. You know how Gary opens his beer, goes to his butt butthole. Hey Gary. Hey Gary. <laughs> Egg. <laughs> oh no. Oh god. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm just gonna drink this beer. Cause I don't need to put up with your nonsense. Right? Hey, you shut the fuck up. I've already dealt with a lot of nonsense last night. But that's unnecessary nonsense. This is necessary nonsense. I know I am going to have No, you're not. I'm go I'm Gary's fucking face. Oh my god. It tastes like applesauce. Well, good, because you know, <laughs> you're good. You know why? Because you look old. <laughs> yeah, I, really, I feel like it, though. Holy shit. Your, your face right there was just brilliant. What? The beer? Well, yeah, when you were drinking it. Well, here's the thing, though, with this beer. This, you know, I don't drink that Budweiser or that Bud Light. That shit is nasty as hell. I drink Budweiser. It. When I'm having anything alcoholic, it's going to have, it's got to have flavor. And this is the only type of uh, beer that I have. You know what that is? Angry Orchard. <laughs> yeah, fit your name. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of true. So there you go. It's just an angry bastard. <laughs> <laughs> God. Good lord. I care what's wrong. <laughs> Whoa! Angry bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's your new beer slogan. Uh, Mr. Gare Bear's angry bastard. Hard Gare Bear or Young Assassin's angry bastard coming soon to a local convenience store. There you go, Hashtag Young Assassin. Ang there you go. Hashtag. I was about to say, I like that. Young Assassin's there you Angry go. Bastard. Uh, there's the there you go. I'll, I'll put it right there. Hashtag Angry Bastard. There you go. Wait, he didn't say, I didn't, he didn't say that here. No, he, he he did post it in the chat. I'm putting the hashtag up. I don't think. I've been looking at the chat. I didn't see him say Well, I did it. He said it right there. Just not just afterwards. Right there. Oh, motherfucker. So, motherfucker. up. Well, Angry Bastard's new slogan for the beer. I'm going to have me an Angry Orchard. It's going to be 
lucky bastard. So there you go. I didn't hear it because Gary was talking about it. I'm glad I didn't hear it. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I feel like oh, yeah, I have to talk about the stupid bastard. So there you go. You want to know something? Look at this motherfucker. Look at the tree. He is an angry bastard. Look at that. <laughs> talk about the op. Instead of Johnny Appleseed, it's fucking Johnny Rotten Apple. And this is my favorite beer, too, no joke. Every time if I go to a bar or if I... Eh, fuck beer. Um, yeah, fuck beer. Well, I'm if I'm going to go to a bar and if I'm going to at least what? have one beer, Angry Horse is all I have. And no joke, I'm that type of guy who literally says, I have only one beer. I do. Yeah, piss. What's this, a question? I forgot that. Okay, it does. But it count as comedy. Uh... Blade, Mel Brooks, Jerry Lewis, those are classics. Oh, hell yeah, they are. A classic is something that's earned from generation and still kept its reputation and still and its merit still comes off as honorable, memorable, and uh, inspirational. Classics aren't called classics for a reason. So hey, speaking of Mel Brooks, springtime for Hitler. Oh, <laughs> Come on, you got to love the producers. Come on. Producers are. I know exactly where it's from. The original yeah. producer. Oh, it's classic. Yeah, the original. Yeah, the remake we don't talk about. Um. The, oh wait, yeah. Well, the remake has some. I think there is some Chuck Worthy moments, but the but the original was hilarious to this day. For actually, huh? That's actually a really good comparison, Boy Thunder. <laughs> rolling Rock, Rolling Rock, <laughs> <laughs> Rolling Rock on the Rolling Rock. Well, I watched. I did. I rewatched that episode of AVGN recently. It still That's makes me laugh my ass off. Yeah, now, yeah. now, I wouldn't say that Rolling Rock is me because here's the thing now. When is it that I bring a beer to the program? I never do. But if I'm going to bring one, this is all I'm going to have. You should because you look like an alcoholic. <laughs> and you'll be correct. So there you that go. And that, that, and that, uh, that, and that fucking that. beer belly. Oh, Look, it's not the first time oh, that I've been sorry. called and I look like an alcoholic. It's no joke. People have told me that I look like a guy who drinks Perry, a lot. what the hell was that? Nothing. Don't worry about oh, it. Perry, he, Perry, he, what, what, he probably banged what, his leg against his death. Don't worry about it. You don't need to worry about what the fuck I You got to drink some of this. this I am milk. Garrett, an alcoholic. I have milk. It's good for you. It gives I you big it. muscles. I have milk once in a while. Look at these, look at these, size of these, look at these big arms. Look, if I'm look at these big milk. arms. I'm gonna have chocolate milk if I'm gonna be drinking milk. Okay, I no, drinking no, 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 no. Every I, time you drink that, it messes you up, dude. I didn't say I was gonna have a chocolate milk right now. I'm just saying that if I'm gonna have a ch milk, I'm gonna it's, it's gonna be chocolate. I don't like I don't like strawberry either. I can't stand strawberry. You realize that every time you drink chocolate milk, it gives you the shits, right? And, and what else does? What else gives me the shits? Nachos gives me the shits. Beans gives me the everything. Shits. Does fucking teriyaki sauce gives me the shits. <laughs> Barbecue chicken wings that I no no it's barbecue chicken fingers. I hate barbecue chicken fingers. <laughs> that always gives me the goddamn really whackers. <laughs> Fucking what else gives me the Willy Whackers? <laughs> Willy Whackers. Oh my uh, god, that's brilliant. Raisin, okay, raisin brand gives me the shits, but it's good. It's for fucking you. dude. You know why? Because the brand flakes, man. The brand flakes. Oh, what else gives me shit? Fucking mild hot sauce gives me a lot of things give me shit. Uh, Thai mild food. hot sauce. Thai food? I don't like Thai food. Yeah, shows. I know. <laughs> the only food that I like Get eating that, is, that, is, that doesn't fuck me up is Japanese food. Because every time I go to my local Japanese restaurant, they always know what I love. They Because they come okay. We don't know why you go to that one specific Japanese. Come on, because we food, know. Because the food is yummy, that's why. Mm, there's something else there that looks Come yummy. On. Yes, the sushi is good. I like it. Yeah. No, <laughs> come on. What? We know what it is. <laughs> what oysters? I don't like, I don't like oysters. <laughs> Hey, oysters are actually pretty fucking good. I can't, I can't eat oysters. You are you oysters? Oysters. I can't eat oysters, and I can't eat clams either. You know what? You should go there for clams breakfast okay. and have. Clams you should go right. there for breakfast and have a swaffle waffle. They don't. What? <laughs> I thought I was used there. I thought. Hey Gary, uh, blue oyster. Dude, when I think of blue oyster, I think of that that homosexual bar in Police Academy. <laughs> oh, ah. 
No, I, they don't have breakfast over there. They open around around I think eleven o'clock. It's all lunch and dinner. That's all it is. And I've had well, they don't serve swaffle waffles. I've had almost every single item off. I ask you a question, you goddamn nimble numb dick. Do they serve swaffle waffle? It's a Japanese restaurant. They don't serve that shit over there. <laughs> I don't know what you what Asian cuisine you're thinking. It's they don't serve that shit over there. They serve Japanese food. Here's a here's a cuisine you need to eat. Lean cuisine. <laughs> oh, I've, had, I've, had, I've had lean cuisine before. They're not that big. Actually, no, no. Lean cuisine. You know what lean cuisine is? It's those TV dinners, those healthy ones. Yeah, exactly. And you need to get lean. Well, what's well? Jokes on you! I actually don't mind the lean cuisine dinners. Those you need to get, are, those you need are to get, the only TV dinners that I give a passable rating to. Other than that, I don't like TV dinners. You need to get lean, not lumpy. <laughs> well, I've had the Swedish meatballs. I've had the alfredo chicken, chicken and broccoli. I've had the macaroni and cheese. I've had. Did you, you say? Did you say Swedish meatballs? Swedish meatballs. <laughs> I had the Alfredo. What else have I had? Shane, I try to get a little Shane. He, he's out of it. Yeah. He had I, the worst fucking week, man. Yeah, so it's best we let Shane rest. Yeah. But poor boy. Yeah, uh, I've had the spinach artichoke ravioli. <laughs> I've had, okay, my favorite one is the sesame chicken. That is my favorite. Anything that's like Asian related, I'll, I love it. What about Simon Says? <laughs> what the fuck does... You know what? Why don't we just get Lucas that little Simon game and it's where you have to tap the Oh, phone. yeah. <laughs> I, I want to see Lucas play with that because I think it's funny as hell. Let's do it. Let's do it. Getting that for his Christmas or his birthday. No, his Christmas <laughs> present. His birthday his birthday's already passed. There you go. I think that'll be a good little present from the dumb fuck. Oh, I agree. I agree. But yeah, screens one all. Welcome back to the page for you all. Um, you're probably wondering why haven't we done a show in two weeks? I'll explain to you all investly of what's been going on for two weeks. I was. I've been having a lot of pool practice because, as you all know, for those who don't know, I am a billiards player. I am a pool shark. I've been playing for nearly eight years. And I've been crack, and I've been been blah, blah, blah. I've been getting back into playing recently since the pool hall opened back up uh, last month. And I go there three day three days a week, and I play there for about th three three days a week, and I play out for maybe about four or five, give it six hours because I need all the practice I can get in terms of learning and improving my own strategies. But I had a tournament I was getting prepared for, I didn't win it. Because oh my god, I would have won the tournament if I didn't get stuck. Here was yeah. my position. It was okay. The rules are it was best two out of three falls. We all know how that works. I won the first game. My opponent won the second game. Tie tie. I almost fucking had it. It was actually a very very close neck and neck game. I he was down to the eight ball. I had the one ball left. Literally the one ball. What? Was when he missed a shot for the eight ball, it left me in the dead end and where the cue ball was at the end of the fucking pocket at the very end of the table on the edge. The fucking cue ball was literally at the close of the pocket where it almost fell in. I had to try and do a long range shot with the one ball. I couldn't. I literally couldn't. My positioning, the way that it was at the end, I couldn't. So I fucked up, and it gave the other guy the win. So what I said was, you're a good pool player. Congratulations. Best of luck to you. And you know what he said in return? Thanks. I wish I could say the same to you. What a cocksucker. Yeah, you're telling me, dude. You want to talk about a big slap in the face? Mm -hmm. Words like that hurt me. Because you know why? I practice a lot. I want to become one of the best players in this city. Not of all time, just in my city alone. Because I want to prove to any fuckface who always underestimated me and judged me because of my appearance. Pool is the only thing that I've grown a legit natural talent for. 
And this motherfucker, he knew exactly that I would have had him. He knew I would have had him if I wasn't fucked up. At least with that last part. He didn't want to admit that I almost had him. Because I looked at his body language. His sweating. His fidgeting around. The way he was coming off. I was looking at him. He knew that I had him. <laughs> it reminds me of Barry Bonds. <laughs> you know, he just didn't want to admit it. But guess what? I'm going to prepare for myself, face this motherfucker, and show him exactly that who the real I hope you is. find him and kick, this, kick his fucking ass. If you've seen the movie The Hustler, remember how fast Eddie grows? Fast Eddie, yep. Yeah. 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 My, real, <laughs> my situation, no, Joe, is legitimately relating to the fucking movie. What does that tell you? God, it's like The Hustler and Little Shop of Horrors put together. Uh-huh. And now it's the hustler, which is okay because I fucking love that movie. And to answer it, that movie was got got me the reason to play pool. If it wasn't for that movie, I wouldn't be playing. But yes, other than that, uh, I've also been sick. I recently been sick. Mm. I've had a horrible, horrible head cold that last. Gary, just continue. I just got a picture of something. Just continue because you're not going to believe this. Oh, dear. But, yes, I had a head cold for nearly four days. I almost thought I had the virus, but I went to the doctors. I talked to him about what was going on, and he said I had a head cold. My temperature was normal, but it was just a regular head cold. Drink water, fluids, uh, soup, just common stuff, Tylenol, Motrin, whatever, and lots of rest. And, lo and behold, I feel better. Yay. Oh, it wasn't a virus, so there you go. If it was, it would have been worse. Well, James, that, whoa. James, may, oh, sorry, sorry. James just sent me this. My buddy James the Emperor, he sent me this picture, and this individual ended up getting a tattoo. Oh God! Just look. That's all I'm gonna say. No, but yes. No, no, no. Do it right now. I gotta see your reaction. What? Fin it's, oh, finish up. I thought you were like Gary. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Well, okay, well, okay. Well, <laughs> it. <laughs> it took me a bit to notice. So I was like, wait. Oh, okay. Let me look at my phone here because I don't feel like pointing. I know out. exactly just, what he's doing, too. Oh, no, just. I saw this, and you know what, J, you know what James said to me? What? Um, He goes, this person better hope he never goes to prison while having a t- tattoo. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, okay, actually, Lee, you got a good point. I'm going to let Gary finish up. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna cut. Yeah, folks, again, I apologize that we haven't done an episode in two weeks. Life's been pretty complicated. Well, yeah. complicated and yet focused on my part and for, I'm sure, for Shano's as well. And I'm not sure about the other two. But, yeah, life's been very complicated on my part, and I just couldn't really – have a squeeze an episode in for two weeks because of personal dilemmas and shit and pool practice and etc. But we're here now. I do have a pool schedule, a legit pool schedule that I'll be doing. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays is when I'm going to be playing. So Mondays will be hopefully continuing our consistency of giving you folks episodes for you all to enjoy and all that other nonsense. Consistency. So, really quick. If I may add, G- Gary, you were mentioning about the uh, virus. It depends on the person. It's an individual. It, de- it depends on the individual person. Just yeah. like I should add that. But also, another thing, folks, is that uh, recently this was actually a very big surprise for a lot, and I, I couldn't believe it. A guitar god in the music world, Mister Eddie. Van Halen. Yeah. Mister Eddie Van Halen recently passed away, and it was a very yes. tragic. Cancer. Fuck cancer. Fuck. Enough said. But we Dude, all first know. Chubbuck Bozeman, now Eddie Van Halen. Come on. But yes, Eddie Van Halen, he was well known. He was well known with his band, obviously Van Halen, for songs mm-hmm. like for songs like Jamie's Crying, the cover for You Really Got Me, Running with the Devil, Hot Jump, Jump, Jump Panama, mm-hmm. uh, Jane, Ice Cream Man, When It's Love, uh, Love Walks In, and many more. So in terms of <laughs> Eddie Van Halen, and for his passing, let's give a nice little 20-second moment of silence, and uh, we'll go on from there.
Rest easy, Eddie. Rest mm -hmm. easy. I mean, Les Paul, Hendricks, yeah. Van Halen, they're yeah. the gods. Met multiple gods. Or it's a shame. But, yes, folks, um, this is episode number 135 of our program, and uh, we actually got a nice little smorgasbord of stuff for you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, sh oh, 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 I just farted like seven, eight times just for Derek making me laugh. I can't stop! I can't stop farting! Oh, I got a funny! Oh, I farted! Help me shit yourself, I farted. dude. Oh, I farted again! Oh. Oh. I farted like 10 fucking times! Oh, 11! Okay, no more farting! Oh. Oh. No more farting. <laughs> fucking smork is pork! No more farting. <laughs> Smorky is pork. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's 12. I finally like 12. Oh, 13. 14. Oh, oh my god. Oh. I'm surprised you haven't oh. shot yourself, dude. Oh, yeah, that's, a that's all I got. Oh my god. I farted like 14 fucking times. Hey, Gabby, where'd you go? Gabby! Come back to Mr. Bum Bum, Mr. Gambit. <laughs> Come back to Mr. Bum Bum. <laughs> Mr. Oh my... Bum Bum. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, hey, G Gary, where'd you go? Hey, mm, Gary. Yeah, yeah. Gary. Get over here, you lazy butt fuck savage. I just realized I need to look up another topic for today, and I think I found the perfect topic as well. Yeah. Hey, Gary, where did you yeah. go? Yeah. Can you hear me through this? Yeah. Mm, a little bit. A tad bit. I mean, the, I mean, the audio isn't... I mean, it's a bit low, but that's fine. It's, yeah, your, your, it's mic, your, mic, your, your, mic, your mic levels are low. How about now? Still yeah, I know. Well, it's as low as IQ. Oh, I don't know how to... Open okay, I can elbow. hear you better now. Yeah, yeah. okay, what do you want? I, what do you I want? You oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't force it. I want him to. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> that's, the only th that's the only thing about chocolate milk revolves the Gary. <laughs> oh, my God. That's all I got for now. Other than that, I gotta, I'm going to ease it up on the truck. Yeah. We we just have a good show today, guys. Hey, yeah, it's been a good show. It's been a good show. Look who's here. It's your buddy, Lukey Boo. Oh, fuck him. Uh, He's like, why can't bear? Who, Lucas? Yeah. Yeah? I'm just going to pretend he doesn't exist right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, Gary, can I hug you? Maybe. Uh, okay, I'll be a good boy. He was a hug after a fucking I rough. You I don't want to hug. I'll be a good boy. I don't want to hug Gary because I don't want to get lice. <laughs> you want to give me lice? I do wash myself consistently. He actually washes himself. He's actually you... a good boy. He's a clean boy. Yeah. You, you, you goddamn herpes sore. <laughs> you apologize. You know. I'm not even being mean whatsoever. Right yeah, he's actually <laughs> being quite nice. That right is now. always. <sighs> I heard that. I had nachos for dinner. Thank you very much. I want nachos. Well, we'll go make your own. <laughs> with Phil, uh, wait. Is <laughs> Phil, share that with philosophy me? question number two: What Lucas is animal? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny the way you put oh, it. Oh, perhaps this. It was. Wait, I gotta go. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll see you back. But yes, I got a couple. I got some topics I want to go over with you, folks. Right now. Hey. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, that burned! <laughs> Whoa, that burned! I like I was shitting out chili peppers. Jalapeno too. <laughs> <laughs> Jalapeno. 
<laughs> oh my god, fucking... you're shitting out. You're shitting out Red Hot Chili Peppers. Was that song California Cation? <laughs> that was nice. I'm sorry, that was. Oh funny. my, those goddamn beans, man. Beans, beans. Animals, Barney the dinosaur. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, but a couple topics. Here's what I brought for you, folks. I got ten best places to visit in Arizona. Ooh. I also have the top ten best desserts in the world. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Hey, look, yes. And I have the most iconic ice cream flavors in every state. I like you know, that. That's how most of his topics involves around sweets and desserts. That hey, ice cream is ice cream is fucking carry, amazing. I love ice cream. Yeah, yeah who shows. doesn't? <laughs> also, one more topic. Uh, kudos to uh, Mickey for this. Uh, th- it is official that there is going to be a season three of Dark Side of the Ring. Yes. Hey, Mickey. You're from still- what I yeah. saw, by the way, I've been seeing. I haven't seen like all of it, but from what I've seen of it, it's fucking. Good. Oh, it's a great show. It's phenomenal. Yeah, In terms of the program itself, no specific date yet, but all I know is that I'm very happy there's going to be a season three. This show has been yeah. incredible. And uh, here is some of the topics that oh, have go, yeah. addressed so far for this program. They're going to be surrounding a wrestler named Grizzly Smith. Hmm. I've never heard of Grizzly Smith. Same. The name sounds familiar to me. We're going to go over to the Snake Roberts. Oh. oh. Well, you know what? They kind of did. It's, it's the movie called The Wrestler. Yeah, that's right. They that did. That movie is so based on Jake the Snake Roberts that it's not even funny. The, 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 uh, the Aronofsky one, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. back when okay. he was a cool person, not a cocksucker. Moving on. Okay. Um, they're also going to be going over, okay, what is it? Uh, Rock and Robin, who I believe was the daughter of Grizzly Smith, and yes, yeah. well known rest with Sam Houston. Sam Houston, yes. I've, heard I've never Sam heard Houston. of Sam Houston. Cowboy Sam Houston. Oh, yeah. okay. And that rings a bell. That rings a bell. Uh, there is another topic that kind of caught my interest. It is with WCW doing a program in North Korea. WCW New Japan coming together and doing a program in North Korea. Uh, and Eric Bischoff talked about that before. Yeah. Bischoff, now, um, there are these topics now. Jason Snake Roberts, I don't think it's necessary because it's already been done. And yeah, it's really- beyond the mat. Yeah, Beyond the Mad did it. Uh, the rest of the movie was the movie. Movie. That, that is so based off of his life. Uh, but for Grizzly Smith and he, Sam Houston, I'm interested. But Grizzly Smith and um, <laughs> Rock and Robin, I don't know. Did you hear a look, Nook? Instead, he goes, Sam Houston fought in the Alamo. Just a little bit of history. <laughs> oh, he doesn't look too far from the Alamo, I don't think. <laughs> but if there's a topic, there's quite a few topics I would love to hear more. Uh, one of them, maybe around Bash of the Beach 2000. You know what? I, here's a topic. You know what? Anything that has Fitz Russo, it goes something like this. I want to see a topic of them. Talk, I want to see them talk about Chris Canyon. That's I, okay. On big one, the plane ride from hell. Yeah, there's that. I, oh my! If you don't know the story behind that, it is one of the most ridiculous. Re- Ridiculous, craziest events ever. It involved Mr. Perfect, it involved Ric Flair, Brock Lesnar, and and others. And it was just insane. Yeah, and that alone is pretty ridiculous. Uh, also, another one that I would love to see, uh, the Vince McMahon uh, murder thing that was supposed to transpire. Th- this, uh, right before Chris Benoit, right? Yeah, I wanted, uh, that would have been something else. Um, I also wouldn't mind seeing a topic <laughs> surrounding Brian Pillman. Flying Brian Pillman. I thought they aren't they doing that? I I don't know. I think so. Um, there was another topic rumored. It was surrounding one of the hardcore wrestlers out there, Nick Gage, and his criminal record. Oh. And, uh, what else was another topic? There's I mean, you can think of plenty of topics in the wrestling world as a whole that would be very interesting to really discuss in the program. Uh, but in terms of one that I want to see, I would actually want to see one surrounding the Renegade. Oh my god. Yeah, the sad the wrestler who was Yeah, thanks Ultimate War for ruining that. Uh, there was another one in talk, uh the British Bulldogs as well. <laughs> the Ultimate Warrior was another talk as also. For what oh, Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior Ult- wasn't he the Ultimate Warrior just like an, a complete asshole out Yes of- he was. Oh <laughs> dude, let me tell you, okay, not only the shit that he did like behind the scenes, but the shit that he said. That's what I, yeah, that's why. Uh, 
another rumor. It was surrounding TNA's treatment to Daphne as well. There was that topic. Daphne is like so talented, and man, I've seen what she looks like. You know, without the you know the 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 effect. Oh man, she is sexy. Oh my god. Oh uh, well, there was the Ring Boy scandal. I believe that one was surrounding between Pat Patterson. There was and that one was also in talks. There was a, another one surrounding uh, Rick Adozen. I wanted big, to go over the steroid scandal. That one alone, but there's a lot of topics in the world of professional wrestling that you can really go over. A lot of a lot of folks say this for shits and giggles. They actually want to see an episode surrounding Cornette versus Russo, but they're just but that's just a joke. That's Cornette a, will fucking kill him. Well, yeah, because Cornette, dude. Cor, who? Hey, speaking of Cornette, um, where's my shirt? <laughs> Dude, Cornette hates him more than anybody, but yeah, that, oh, and rightfully so. He 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 fucked over so many people. It's not even, And speaking of Vince Russo, that's one of my topics. Might as well go over that since we're talking about it. Okay. Did he steal from <laughs> Winter Flowers? Says, did he steal from Romy's steroid sca- uh, stash? Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. You, you like my big arms? <laughs> Might as well go over the Vince Russo one since we're talking about it. Spoon. I don't know what to say, folks. I clean up my room, speak and spin. My favorite superhero is Peter Pan. <laughs> Hank plus butter equals four. <laughs> BB8 plus styrofoam equals ladder. All right. <laughs> oh, you too. <laughs> my favorite WCW wrestler, Darby Dallas Page is one of them. Oh, my God. I think he's one of the most underrated wrestlers in pro wrestling as a whole. I think he is underrated as hell. I just didn't like how WWE utilized it. <laughs> Winterfly's like, Jesus, your arms are bigger than my legs. <laughs> God damn. So let's hear about this. Vince okay. Uh, oh, I didn't I didn't do my introduction. Never mind the intro. Let's just go ahead and do the I'm going to do it. No, fuck the intro. We're just going to go right into this. Yay. Yeah. Hey. Uh, no, I don't want to do the intro. Fuck the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the song. Fuck the intro. We're not doing mm. egg roll. I like egg rolls. I yeah, prefer, egg rolls are nice. I prefer spring rolls a little more. I, I don't doubt that. Well, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 135. That's already been gone for a couple weeks. We all know it as the Buffers on the Soul Fuzz. Yeah, I know. Joining us is the young. Yes, yes, and Mr. Garrison, or the Chair Slayer. <laughs> oh, my God. Like it sounds like what E.T. sounds like when he's busting a nut. And then we have Austin, the tripod putting him. <laughs> and I'm Roman boy, Jay Money, and this is my first topic. Shit, Vince Russo, the cancer to wrestling, is responsible for. And there's a lot, actually. Like um, I have a whole, I have the whole list. I try to look up as many things as I could. Oh, did I ever tell you that he actually created a uh, separate wrestling promotion a while back? Uh, what was his name? Uh, 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 uh Br- Brian Zane went over it too. Brian Zane res- wrestling. I know who Brian. I, I like I like Brian Zane when he goes over cl- sucks and goes over stuff that's like hidden. But when he reviews some of the current. Stuff He's it goes a little. He can be uh, someone of a mark, and here's why I think of fucking mark. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Diaper. All right. Phoebus. <laughs> Look at Gary. <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't even want to be here. Okay, Gary, I'm, all... I'm sorry. Okay, let me uh, <laughs> let me just go over. Okay, um. If you I don't have know a what I'll... topics to just saying, you know what? Forget you know. Let him go over. Let him say what his stuff is because we forgot about him. I just want to answer the Thank question. Thank you. A mark is a slang term for it can be one of two things. It can be applied to a fan who believes that it's real to them, or it, they idolize a particular wrestling promotion or style, 
or to wrestling to a point to where it's so excessive, like a fucking fanboy. Mm. Go ahead, Austin. So I have a couple. I have two reviews, uh, two '90s horror films that I saw just recently. One called "In the Mouth of Madness," a John Carpenter movie, mm-hmm. and I also saw a film called "Lord of Illusion," a Clive Barker movie. And I also have two first impressions on two games. Start. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Wait. You too. And then I have two first impressions uh, for video games. One for Star Wars Squadrons, which I've been playing a lot of recently, and Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah, I wish I was blind. Pickle. Uh, I love how I'm the one that's being interrupted constantly. Yeah, you guys. I'm so polite to you guys. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Um, and I also have Game Informers. Best games of the generation. The And just to let you guys know, these aren't ranked, but they're in categ- they're categories. Okay. <laughs> Gary needs to get laid. We all do. Let's just say I don't need to worry about that, at least right now, because I can't do that whole thing, Carol. Uh, hold up! What? Gary, you got something you want to share with the rest of the class? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, hi, Ashley. Tater tot. <laughs> Tater tot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in a relationship. Let's just say I... I, I, I got things going on in my personal life I don't need to bring to the table. Yeah, I'm wearing a Pink Floyd shirt because Pink Floyd is awesome. And uh, see it, Corey, you be quiet! Extra's his t-shirt, and I've said. Um, no, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> no, I'm still single. It's just that I was able to, you know, get a little special reward recently. We'll just leave it at that. Mm. Not, you gentlemen know what it is. I'm not bringing to... Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know. I ain't saying it. Yeah. I'm not saying it either. It's my own personal business. I was gonna say it's personal business. Yeah. Unlike the one time when I fucked up about that. Um, <laughs> see, I remember Gary. I remember. And it was fucking funny too. Uh, for oh, I'm talking about like next gen when I when I uh, talked about. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about your little fuck up when you were revealing yourself. Well, that was funny too. <laughs> Fuck, Shane will make it hilarious. With his oh, yeah. I wish I was there for that. I was so oh, fucking Oh, my bad. God. Shano, the fucking voices and noises he made throughout that whole thing was priceless. Oh, trust me. I know. I, I, I'm not even joking. When I came off of that phone call and I heard you guys were laughing, I was like, what the? Oh, you yeah. sons of bitches. We, we, we tried messaging. We tried to get a hold of you multiple times, but you didn't even bother us. I was so into the call, dude. We tried desperately to get a hold of you and nothing. Dude, I, I was so into that phone call. Holy shit. Yeah, we tried getting a hold of you, but nothing happened. So we were just like, fuck it. We're just going to listen to you. Uh, you know, do your business. And uh, that was it. And fucking Shane was doing all these voices saying, it smells like fish. <laughs> he was doing all these noises and all these squeaks. And of fun. course Shane would do that. Oh, my God. He made the whole thing much more funnier. And it, it was great. I loved I absolutely loved it. It was hilarious. Like yeah, Shano made it fucking great. I, it was funny as hell. But go ahead. Oh, I, I'm done. Oh, okay, but as for Vince Russo. <laughs> oh, you know what, Gary? Since you got me so angry, I'm angry right now. I'm what? very angry with you. Guess what I got? I got a secret weapon against you. Hmm? I don't even give a shit right now. I'm going to be burping. Oh, it's all right. Shut up. I got something to look at, too. How can you look at a burp? <laughs> we can't necessarily look at it. You know what I can look at? What? Oh, my God. Okay. Look at me? Go. Gary, <laughs> you ever heard that channel? What, oh, what is that? It's a pretty. It's a pretty kitty. A pretty. Oh, I've seen that picture. That's a beautiful Siamese kitty cat. I love Siamese cats. Alexa okay. Taylor says, deep dupe. Who's Alexa Taylor? I see her on the on the thing multiple times. 
Is it a porn star? I don't know. I, if it is, hi, honey. How you doing? I'm Romy. <laughs> oh, for God. Can, I, can I participate in a POV shoot? <laughs> Follow OnlyFans. That would all, that would only give me nightmares of you in a POV shoot, Romy. Just saying. you're not gonna see me. You're just gonna see the chick blow me. I don't give a fuck. How would you? It's okay. knowing it's you. Hold up a second. Hey, Austin. Yes. You just revealed something that kind of disturbs me. What? I would be in a POV porn video and yet you would know it's me but you haven't seen my face is there something you want to say <laughs> well i just realized that you were mentioning that yes i just no realized. Ah, you put it, you, no no you? no <laughs> no hey austin since you're below you're you're, you're, you're closer to hell than i am <laughs> Good point on that one. <laughs> oh, it's his face. He just doesn't want to admit he just likes the banana. That's all. <laughs> Only your banana, Gear Bear. Oh oh, not for the, not for the, the goddamn bananas. Hey man, bananas you, are good you know, here. You know, I just realized those goddamn bananas. It's those goddamn bananas. Uh, Ladies and no. gentlemen, here is Sorry. some shit that Vince Russo is responsible for. Uh, I don't have these in any order. These are things that he has said or he has done or is responsible for. Here you guys we keep go. going. I'll be right back. Okay. Claiming that wrestling fans are gay. Uh, they make the wrestlers, you know, can look that way. And I can tell making a wrestler choke on a dodo. I've seen it recently. No. Wrestling fans. He claims that wrestling fans are gay. I, no. Yes. How can I help you? No. Good. Go away. I don't want to bother you. Anything on a pole match. That includes a pinata, a Viagra, a leather jacket, uh, someone's mom on a forklift. <laughs> you know, that pole match itself, it actually used to have merit back in the day, like an actual retribution type thing. It was actually a special occasion back in the day. Like, for example, if there was, like, a specific weapon that was a uh, trademark to a wrestler, they put that on a pole, and they if a wrestler that was trademarked to him, if the other guy wins it and shit, then whatever. Okay. Hey, Jerome, whatever happened to Faith? <laughs> Faith's still around. She just doesn't really cover films yeah. as much anymore. He's got a teddy bear. Oh, okay. <laughs> I teddy bears, but go ahead. Uh, okay, next one, the Lockbox Showdown. Yeah, the, uh, the lockbox where it was just nothing bullshit in it and it just held no merit. I remember the lockbox. You know, go to Jim Cornette's channel where he discusses in detail what Vince Russo says and how he claims pe uh, wrestling fans are gay. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Uh, the fight for your right, the reverse battle royal. That held no logic whatsoever to what it was about. There was literally no logic to it. It just plus it killed it plus it kills the definition of what a battle royal is about. I wasn't referring to Faith Faith Hill. Oh my god, really? Uh next one, the kennel from hell. We don't we already know about what happened. The brawl for all. We all know about the brawl for all, folks. You all know about what that is? Watch Dark Side of the Rings episode on it. <laughs> Next one, he had a hand in this, Owen Hart and the Rafters. Yeah, uh, that's where it showcased visually that Vince Russo is the uh, cancer to pro wrestling. Next one, NWO 2000. Yeah. That is a cute kitty of Marbles. Um, <laughs> the kitty. He showed me another, a picture of a kitty cat. Oh, here's one of the worst ones. He booked himself winning the fucking world title. Yeah. Who can't who never worked in day's life, didn't know exactly how to fucking perform a move, how to actually train. He never worked a day in his life and didn't know anything about in ring psychology whatsoever. It was just a fucking stunt to get publicity. Yep. Uh favorite TNA wrestler, um Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, and Christopher Daniels. Those are some of my favorites. My favorite TNA wrestler of all time. Oh boy! For some of them, I love. I was all about the X division. I love PD Williams. Mm -hmm. I love oh, PD Williams was great. I'm a huge fan of Chris Davian. I love his work. I loved um, uh, Gail Kim. She's an awesome one. Ooh, I, lo well, I love Gail Kim. Yeah. 
<laughs> division. I loved uh, Jay Lethal. I loved watching him during that time. But in terms of my favorites, I was all for Petey Williams <sighs> and uh, AJ Styles. Samoa Joe was a part of the X Division. Mm-hmm. Dude, they were part of one of the greatest triple threat matches in history. Oh, yeah. That match was incredible. That, that to me is the greatest TNA match of all time. Oh, yeah. uh, next. Okay, let me just scroll down a little bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, you I hate it when it th- no when you mi- when you like shorten the page, the screen goes up. Not when you want to. Okay, oh, here we go. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if he was responsible for this or not. Some people say he was. I'm just gonna skip because I don't think this is true. Uh, next one. Does David mm-hmm. Flair and Stacy Keebler wedding and Russo was actually going to be booked as the father? <sighs> hmm. That's actually one I don't remember much about. Oh god, it's so bad. Remember that Stacey Keebler was pregnant and rumors have it that Ric Flair. Oh, so stupid. Judy Bagwell on a forklift match. Oh god. Um, here's another one. Uh David Arquette, the way he booked him. That's on here. That is on here. Next one, uh turning Goldberg heel. Oh Jesus, I remember that. <laughs> when he was he was the top baby face in WCW. Let's turn him fucking heel. Stupid. Yeah. That didn't work out too well. The Beaver Cleaver character. I remember BB, the Beaver, whatever the fuck it's called, the Beaver Cleaver thing. I remember that. Arden 5679? Hmm. Oldberg. Uh, Ed Farrar as Oklahoma. Yeah, we all know about that. How absolutely insulting, offensive, and just downright cynical that was to Jim Ross. So goddamn deplorable. Uh, okay. Next one. Booker T as GI Bro. <laughs> That's another one I don't remember much about. Uh, the San Francisco 49ers match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that involved. Um... Oh, shit. I know what it was. I was just, God, I'm trying to figure out who. Um... Tank Abbott in WCW. This motherfucker gonna work worth this shit. Ready to Rumble on the list? Well, no, because that was the movie. I don't think he had anything to do. Ready with to Rumble. That. That's actually a fun movie. If you ask me, Ready to Rumble. Oh, I think it's a fun movie. I don't think it's a good movie, but I think it has some. Fu- I think it's a fun moment. <laughs> Who's in that movie? He was my favorite part of the movie. Hey, wanna wrestle? <laughs> oh, I I know who you're talking about. Martin, the guy, uh, is, uh, <laughs> the guy who played uh uh, Bo- uh, uh Dracula. Yeah, uh, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember his name, though. Um, but I know what you're talking about. Recreating the Montreal screw job. Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I thought you heard that. That was my bad. No. Uh, the artist formerly known as Goldust and Seven. I remember Goldust. I, re- I remember Dustin Rhodes actually broke kayfabe about the Seven. Bullets. That was amazing. Mm. Bash of the Beach 2000. Moving on. <laughs> we went over this. Arguably known as the worst fucking event in wrestling history. It's, it's to, Gary and I both named it as the worst WCW. Uh, Bella Lugosi, thank you. Yeah. No, I love Bella. Uh, Bella, no, Bella Lugosi is a fucking classic. No, I mean the, the, the actor who played Bella Lugosi, Ed Wood. I know what you mean. I know what um, you mean. The electrified steel cage match. <laughs> You know what? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, one. Vince Russo had no part of it. This was when uh, what's his name was doing the fucking WCW back in the day. Abdullah the Butcher. There you go. Oh my god! Bad <laughs> match, but the reaction was just hilarious. I thought it was fucking ridiculous, but it was the fun. last rights match between Abyss and Sting. This oh was in TNA. I remember that match. The fuck? That's yeah, I heard that too. Hold on a second. Um everybody okay? Okay. I heard that too. I'm just like, wait a minute. Uh Vince is the higher power. It was me, Austin. It was me, Austin. I know, I was wondering what the hell that was too. <laughs> oh wait, is wait, is it coming from this right here? Or is it coming from this? No idea if I'm being honest. Oh, what about uh, what was it? What about um the way you tried? What about the way you tried to bring back the Hulkamania stuff? 
I'm not sure about that. Oh, okay. Here's what he said. The story, reality, and characters of the show and what draws viewers thus emphasizes that entertainment over the in-ring aspect of professional wrestling. Yeah, because Vince don't give a fuck about wrestling. He never did. Dude, mother okay, WWE, if you if you are a professional wrestler and you built your whole career up as yourself. Okay, if you're playing like a specific character that you've been used to for so long, or if you're a wrestler who's portrayed as himself this whole entire time, but when you're going to WWE, if you were playing a character that you originally had prior beforehand, you're going to get changed. If you were by yourself, got over by yourself, or managed to build your own legacy in the wrestling world as yourself, and the fans know exactly who you are as this particular person, which is yourself, it don't fucking matter. When you're going to WWE, you're going to become a gimmick, a character, no matter what, and it's a fucking disgrace. Mm -hmm. Give me a second real quick. I just want to check something. No worries. What do you want me to do? Hold on. You can entertain You can entertain with me. I don't want to entertain nobody. I want to talk about this. this Would you be cool? I was making sure that the mic was working. Asshole. Dingleberry. Fuck face. Elephant. The microphone is working. Will you continue on? You goddamn booboo loo boo dipshit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, asshole, dingleberry, <laughs> fuckface, douchebag, elephant snort. That's Popsicle. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Next I one. No Rick, what the fuck Rick Flair said that WCW under Russell's, uh, under roof, Russell's, um, Structure was the most disorganized and disabled wrestling company alive. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't cover modern films, Walter. Uh, next one, The Oddities. If you folks are wondering, I think it's the worst faction in wrestling history. It's my number two worst faction in hit wrestling history. I fucking hate the oddities. So I couldn't stand those motherfuckers. They were so damn annoying. Okay, I don't know. Well, I don't think no, he didn't do this one. Okay, my bad. I was thinking right to censor, but no, that was not a uh, no. But to me, sure, that is the worst wrestling faction. But it sure as hell came off like a Vince Russo idea. Okay, this is a Vince Russo. I remember this was uh, Stephanie and Tess's wedding. Oh Jesus! I remember. I remember Stephanie and Triple H's wedding. <laughs> Which actually turned out to be real. Um, oh, the storyline of Hawks' drug and alcohol issues ruining the team. That was nothing more but an embarrassment. Yeah, thanks, Russell, for that, you okay, fucking yeah. asshole. Okay, here's another one that he did. Pushing Sable. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if you folks don't know, Sable, she can't wrestle worth a shit. She can't work a she day. She was all she, all she was, was just another woman to be on, who just wanted to be on television. That's it. Couldn't work a day in her life. Nope. Pretty woman, but just couldn't work a day in her life, unfortunately. Which is sad. Yep. It's pretty crazy when Sonny, who is a complete bitch, says that she's one of the worst things that ever happened in wrestling. Yeah. Fucking Sonny said something. Jim Cornette as well said it as well. Um, I think there was a couple more. I don't know most, but I right. No, the war with grandpa. Like I said, I never I heard that movie's coming out. I heard it was bad, but I don't cover modern films. Oh, what well, I heard that was terrible, yeah. Yeah. But he used to tell me which which grandpa movie is worse. I'm like, I don't think nothing's worse than that grandpa. <laughs> um Okay, Vince Russo, uh David Arquette as the WCW world champion. David Arquette did we exactly what he did. He rebuilt himself back up and became actually a solid wrestler. Brock lesbian. Yes, they are married and they have kids. Terry Ronalds' miscarriage. Mm. Yep. Typical Jerry Springer bullshit. This one makes me fucking mad. Mike Mike Awesome is that 70s guy and that fat chick thriller. That to me is to me it's my number one worst thing that Vince Russo has ever done because Mike Awesome, if you folks don't know who he is, he was basically one of the originators of being the super heavyweight cruiserweight. He this was, guy was 6'6", 290 something, and he, to me, he was the greatest ECW heavyweight champion ever. And the shit that he was fucking doing was unheard of. Now, I can attest to this. Mikey Whipwreck, who is a fucking mentor of mine, I talked to him about it. That's not his name. 
Oh, he, but then again, he was so he was so cool behind the scenes. He was like a really, really cool dude. He said he was a great guy. He was a great friend, and he knew how to work the mullet. Oh my god, he's like one of the only wrestlers I made the mullet look good, other than uh, Brian Pillman. But I digress. Wait. <laughs> Psycho Mike says, Mike is awesome. I'm like, yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, Barbels, why is Romy a heavyweight? Get the fuck out of here. I don't know. Oh, for God's sakes. But yeah, Mike, awesome, dude. Before, we had a lot of wrestlers in the, who are big and buff right now, did the cruiserweight stuff. Mike, Mike awesome was a pioneer. He was dude, doing- he was him. Dude, like, he was jumping on the top rope uh, over the barricade and shit. He was power. <laughs> he was power bombing people off the top rope. Mike, Mike, awesome. Uh, the same thing, Mikey Whipwreck. He took the fucking power bomb off the goddamn. Oh, from the ring over the top rope through a table, and he landed. He said, he said, no joke. He almost busted his back after that. Well, you know why? Because here's one thing that ECW did that I was not a fan of. They had concrete floors. That's stupid. Yeah, that can really legitimately injure somebody in the worst way if you don't have it. <laughs> Igloo. Tangerine. <laughs> Wait, what did Mike Awesome die of? Oh, he That's died. Fucking funny. Yeah. How did he? How did he pass? Was it? Was it? Okay. Was it? Was it suicide? Suicide. <sighs> it was suicide, sadly. Which is unfortunately because oh, you can only imagine how many what demons he had. And, you know, it's crazy because his the last match I remember him of was ECW One Night Stand 2005. Against, that was the match of the night, too, against Tanaka, his rivalry, and that match was just God. gold. The match between uh, Tanaka and Awesome. That, that, their whole that, series is awesome. That whole rivalry, there has not been a fucking bad match. Mm-hmm. Because they knew how to work each other. Also, another one, uh, Hayabusa. That was Hayabusa. Yeah, Hayabusa. Hayabusa. Yeah, one of the big, greatest Japanese uh, high five. I know who Hayabusa is. <laughs> God damn it, see? Hayabusa. Yeah, and his brother, Kabuki. I, I was thinking Sabu, but okay. Sabu. <laughs> okay, but moving on. What's next? Mike Awesome. Well, the, fuck the Miz. He sucks. Um. Okay. You ready to hear what he has to say? Okay, this is what he says. Bray, bro, you know, he uses that all the time. Bro, with all due respect, if you live in the United States and you're getting up at 3 a.m. to watch grown men fake fight in Japan, you might be a mark. That's what he said, really. Oh, looks like, well, hey, I'm sorry, Vincey, but I'm sorry, Vincey. I actually want to watch pro wrestling, like real pro wrestling that actually gives legit competition instead of your fucking goddamn Lottie Doo finger poke a doom shit on a pole, goddamn miscarriages. I'm not, was it, I don't think the finger poke of doom he was a part of because he was an NWCW well, at the well, time. Well, the other stuff that I mentioned, I love to watch pro wrestling. I, don't I, think, I think that was Ke- I think that was Kevin Nash's booking. Oh well, you know what I mean. All right. I okay. Watch- oh, go ahead. Uh, oh, here's another thing he said. This is so bad. Video games are at fault for bad characters in today's wrestling and the importance of gimmicks. <laughs> So, Vince Russo, you're saying that video games are the bad inspiration. So, what explains about your stupid goddamn B B movies? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> when you bust an ass, you such a yeah. dick like a, like a shop back while sticking a butt plug up you. Java Hunt's about to sneeze again. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I fought it twice. I'm laughing. Favorite WCW match? I don't know. Favorite WC. One of my favorites is Diamond Dallas Page versus Goldberg. That's one. Okay. In terms of me, I like watching anything that involved the Midnight Express against the Fantastics. But I don't know. I don't oh seen. no, no! I take that back. Well, they were known as NWA at the time. Uh, Kerry Von Erich versus Ric Flair. That is one of the greatest matches. In the that that was in front of how many? Like tens of thousands was, of people. It was, it was the memorial for David Von Eric, too. Yes, that match was a spectacle to behold. Yeah, and the story—that's uh, be- uh, probably my number one. 
is Kerry Von Erich versus Ric Flair. That mm-hmm. was just that, that that was just magic. But in terms of WCW slash NWA, if there was anything I loved watching, I love War Games. The original War Games. Oh, and by the way, Paul Ellering was in the original War Games. And before, I, and before I put this back, here's the last thing I found on him. Vince Russo calls Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez, I like Brian Alvarez, clueless hacks, and he claims himself to be the most successful writer in the history of wrestling. Really? First of all, motherfucker, Steve Austin and The Rock were already there. They made a name for himself, and you just happened to show oh, up. Who's your baby kitty? Who's your baby kitty? Oh. Wait, do you any of you guys have? Why would you ask something like that? Yes, I do. I sleep. Go. <laughs> go on. I, I think we all sleep. Okay, uh, Austin, you want to go over something? If you'd like me to, I will. Yeah, just go into somebody. Why don't we just all jump around, and go over instead of having a fucking. You know, sure. Go, oh, if just- you like, I can go over my first impressions for some games. If you'd like, Gary, I can go. I can go into my first impressions for the games I've been playing. Uh, turtle. All start, right. Start, start with Star Wars Squadrons. All right. So let me show you this beauty of a case. I okay, think this is. An, I like this awesome. I like this cover. I think it looks cool. Eh. So this is so this is a Star Wars uh cock uh cockfighting game. Not the way you're thinking, not that. Uh pil- it's like a pilot simulator game essentially. You wanna know what a real cockfight is? Is one two shooters. I know what you mean. What a shooter sticks a rod in your wiener and the other one together. And I it- don't need to know that, Gary. <laughs> Shane Diesel versus Lexington Steel. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially so this, from what I play, I've, I'm, I just got halfway through the game, and let me just say this right now. This is the new Rogue Squadron. If you guys have played the GameCube Rogue Squadron game, or maybe like the N64 Rogue Leader, I think it is, back in those days, this is essentially the brand new version. The story so far is about the weak side, but this has some of the best gameplay in a Star Wars game easily. And it's a, and not to mention, sound design is incredible. And a game like this, I wish I had a PSVR headset. I really wish I did. What is the best Star Wars game? I think the best one is Knights of the, Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, no, no, no. Game. You're right. Moving on. I mean, Knights <laughs> that's, of the Old that's Republic, so easy. Battlefield 2, is, uh, Battlefront. Battlefront Shadows 2. of the Empire for the 64. That, that, one's one. under, that one's underrated as can be. The Battle um, of Hoth, that was so good. Oh, God, yes. Um, I would also say, I would also throw into that if I can, um, uh, Knight, not, uh, Jedi Outcast, the, the GameCube games. Okay. Those were, those, were, those were a lot of fun. Um, but this is a game that I don't have a VR headset. I wish I had VR to experience this Wait. in VR because it makes it so much better. I feel. Star Wars wouldn't exist without Flash Gordon on TV? Technically, yeah. It, that's yeah. Correct. That is correct. It's kind of... <laughs> he makes a like point, it, yeah. But it, it's just a ton of fun. Uh, I haven't played multiplayer yet, but even though I want, I'm having a ton of fun with this one. I'd still, I'd still give like an 8, 8 out of 10 at the moment, Star Wars Squadrons. Very nice. What's the other one? Uh, by the way, only forty dollar game. Uh, Ori and the Blind Forest is the other one I've been playing. This is yeah, a Oral and the Glory Hole. There you go. God dang it! It's this is oh. a Metroidvania platformer. Uh, you can play this on PC and Xbox One. Unfortunately, I know you guys don't have Xboxes or PCs. Um, so this is Ori and the Blind Forest. The only reason why I'm playing this is because I'm trying to play Ori and the Will of the Wisps before Gary and I do our top ten. <laughs> Go ahead, continue on. God dang it. <laughs> I'm trying to play uh, Or in the Blind Forest because World of the Wisps came out this year, and I want to beat that before Gary and I do our top, hopefully maybe a top 10 best games of the year video at the yeah, end of the year. I want to be able to have that. I, I will be able to do that as well, actually. Why are you... Why... Go on. <laughs> What the hell is this bullshit? Oh, that? What has that been up there? Yeah, that? Oh, okay. That? <laughs> Peepy juice. <laughs> Wait, Peepy would you juice. want Shane Diesel versus Vin Diesel? Shane Diesel is a porn star with a big fat cock. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Go ahead, people. Uh, but when it comes to Ori and the Blind Forest, this is what I can say about the game so far. It's it's challenging. It's a bit tough. But 
I gotta say, this game's art style is beyond beautiful. The way how it uses contrast and its colors, it looks absolutely astounding. Um, and and drone, by the way, it's a Metroidvania game, so. Uh, <laughs> Castlevania. Yep. Uh, oh, the, the exploring in the game is so much fun. The combat is so much fun, and the musical score is just beyond beautiful so far. Um, this is only the first game that came out in 2018, actually. Uh, but I, I think it's like an eight-hour game. I just got past the first, like the first big section, and it's a uh, honestly for this, I give like a nine out of ten so far. Blind Forest. It makes me excited to hopefully brush through it after I beat Squadrons. And then after that, Gary and I get to play Little Hope, Gary. I will talk about the uh, streams in a little bit later. Uh, yes, we will. Yes, we will. But uh, that's all I've got for my, my gaming. That's all I got. Oh, I do have one more gaming topic if you guys want me to go through that. Might as well before we get to the next person. All right. So, next Gary, so Gary, you... On a call a couple of nights ago, you mentioned this, and I thought I'd bring it up for our audience here. Um, game Informer's best game of the generation was actually in their magazine, their, la their latest issue. All right, so this is, just what you all know, this is not a top 10 list. Basically, Game Informer in their latest magazine, they have their games of the generation. This is not a 1 through 10, but they have different categor categories uh, for, you know, the best games and how, like, let's say best stories, best narratives, best, like, innovations and all that. Ugh. So I'm going to go from bottom. I'm going to go from top to bottom here. <laughs> I heard that. No, well, Gary's reaction was funny. So I'm not going to start top tier. That I'm going to say that for the, for the very last. I <laughs> like where you're coming from, Tanner. All right, so I'm going to start <laughs> off with best fierce competition, uh, which is, like, the best multiplayer games. Uh, oh, don't. they're going to probably have Call of Duty on there. Believe it or not, there is no Call of Duty on this. Wow. No Call of Duty. So here's here's what they have. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I agree I with that completely. Uh, Rocket League, I agree with that completely. Rocket League was actually Rocket League's a fun game. It I know a person that worked on it. Um let's see. Fortnite, moving on. Yeah, um, fuck off. Apex Legends, I actually have a fun time with that game. But hey, Overwatch can fuck right off. Yeah. Um, hey, Tom, I, I know who Tom Wills is. He's a good, he's a good, uh, right. he, I've met him through uh, Hangman Charlie. Ah, okay. Uh, best JRPG games. Let's see. Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I think is a good choice. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3, I think it's good, but I don't think it's one of the best if you ask me. Uh, Persona Persona 5 Real, I need to be, I need to be, I need to play that game. Um, Dragon Quest Nine, I think. Echoes of an Elusive Age. Never even heard of it. And then Fire Emblem Three Houses, which I've heard phenomenal things about. You know, <laughs> Fire Emblem. I bet you Super Smash Bros. are sick and tired of them. <laughs> they have so many Fire Emblem characters. It's insane that they really do. Uh, next up, the best Mind Benders. Uh, uh, uh oh. What that game that came out in Control? That's one of them. I wish that was on this. I can't it's believe not. that isn't. Control was. Gary, you be quiet. That Gary, you hush up. Con control was badass. I'm not saying a goddamn word about Control. Gary with Control is like how I am with Blade Runner 2049. I think it's one of the most overrated games I played. I you don't off. see that. At I don't all. see it either. You um, fuck off. Return well, of the Obra Din. I've never even heard of that one. Return uh, of the I Dick. You want to talk? I hate more. Well, I've actually played this one, Tetris Effect. That's a fun game, Tetris Effect. Um, the Witness. I've heard good things about that one. Box Boy and Box Girl. Never even heard of Box this. Boy. <laughs> and then Inside. I oh, wish. I, I would. I would say Limbo, but then again, Limbo was a, was a previous. Inside generation. is actually a mind bender. I guess. Um, I will talk. Sure. All right, here we go. Best wholesome fun. Dreams. I want to play this. Dream. Game. It's your medium dream, molecule dream. who did the a uh, little big planet games. Um, what? What, Gary? You like that? I do. <laughs> Next up, uh, Super Super Mario Odyssey. I need to play that game. Stardew Valley. I've heard great things. Ori and the Will of the Whips. I will be playing that game soon. I'm excited. You're horny for wolves. I'm hungry like the wolf. The wolf. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizons. That game can fuck right uh, off. Drop, shut up about Animal Crossing. <laughs> I know. Uh, best old school charm. Uh, Cuphead. Cuphead. I love that. Is a, well, what about Shovel Knight? 
Also, don't yeah. mind about Animal Crossing. Believe me, I know. <laughs> Shovel Knight is that on this list? Um, How? I know, I know. Uh, Undertale, that though I've heard terrific things about it. I know Gary wants to play it. Um, <laughs> Undertale. I do want to check that out. Uh, you know what else? You know what's under the tail? Under the sea. Oh my god! Uh, there's one called Celeste, and then Hollow Knight. I want to play Hollow Knight. Wait, so wait, Celeste? That's oh. a name of a uh, of a couple of porn stars I remember. One from like the '90s with big boobs. The other one was a sexy uh, transsexual who passed away. So. Oh my I god! Um, Hollow cock, but okay. Uh, best open worlds. Ghost Cuphead isn't it? One I'm at. Cuphead isn't a movie, it's a video game. What was, that? What, what, was the, what was the winner for that category? Best Open World uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Exactly! Fuck you! Honestly, Wait, best Open World? I do think that in this current generation, Ghost of Tsushima is the best Open World game created. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5! <laughs> fuck you! No, fuck you! GTA 5 is better! GTA 5 is better! It's got way better characters, more things to Ghost do, bigger advancement, a variety of things, a huge open world! Shut the fuck up, you dickhead! Actually, a fucking elephant! Go Go ahead and turn this car around. Fuck a hippo. Go gang bang a goddamn squirrel. Goddamn butt brain. Do you have you played Ghost of Tsushima, Romy? Yes. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Back I, I in the don't. past, it was called Ninja Gaiden. Just get, get the fuck out of here. You're gone. <laughs> We're done. Go on. I, I think Ghost of Tsushima is the best world game created so far. I yeah, do think bro, so. my case. Go on. Uh, Spider-Man to which you should be yes! game, Gary. You better not kick me up before! <laughs> Spider-Man's next, up to which I agree. I think that game is terrific. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn, I agree. Hold on a second. Jester <laughs> Gaming! Thank I'm, 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 oh, wrong guy. Uh, thank you very much! Thank you! Uh, yes! Last of Us Part 2. Uh, hey, hey, Gary. Gary. Gary, look what Hunter Hughes says. Plus, GTA 5 have had Trevor Phillips going Jeff Jarrett on a guy. Except Trevor oh, Phillips yeah. drew a dime. <laughs> there's, a, there's my comment of the day. That, that oh. is the comment. Nah, Last of Us Part 2 is my game right here. This Jester guy said the fucking right answer. Thank you. His name is Jester. He doesn't look like Uncle Fester. Oh, my God. Anyways. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I wouldn't. I would say Assassin's Creed Odyssey, more like. Um, and then a Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. I need to play that. But I, gotta I, play I have Ga checked out a good portion of that game. It's magnificent. But I need to play Metal Gear Solid Three first. Uh, Doom Eternal is game of the year. I still haven't played The Last of Us Two. Oh, Doom Eternal is my number two of the year right now. Um, I, I I love Doom. I cannot wait for Ancient Gods that comes, comes out tomorrow. Out tomorrow. Dude, I don't even talk about Last of Us 2 anymore with anybody because every time I do, they always have a fit. You know the strange thing is? Everyone I've talked to in my workplace, I just talked to a new server that I was hired. I was like, I love The Last of Us. Yeah, I said, Dude. Hey, well, here is the thing. I talked to a new server and he says, yeah, I don't understand the hate that that game gets. <laughs> you talked to a new person at your work. I bet she was a cutie. Actually, <laughs> it wasn't a girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Although there was a new cute girl in my workplace, I will say. Is remember, you fucking boo. Oh, wait, is Knights of the Old Republic on PC? It was for the Xbox. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic is on PC. It is. I was going to say, it should be because it was on the Xbox. It was, yeah. Therefore, um, yeah. All right, best uh, intense action games. Bloodborne. I love that. <laughs> Resident Evil 2. I love that. Uh, yeah. Control. I love it. Uh, Monster Hunter World. I dig that. <laughs> and then Uncharted 4. <laughs> Hold on. It's like Mike says when I was making that joke. She goes, he goes "What she is legal age?" <laughs> if he was wearing, if if Austin was wearing a a fucking royal crown, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm not Jerry the King. Jesus, oh, play Austin, you can become the new Subway mascot. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna. Lie. I hate that joke so much. I really I'm sorry. Joke. I, I no, know. well, Jared from Subway's a piece of shit. Oh, <laughs> we don't talk about that guy. Um, Wait, yeah. I have not played God of War 20. <gasps> what are you doing? You go and play it right now. You go now. play the game right now. Hey, Luke Nukem, you be quiet. And, and the last intense action game is 
Bro, man, I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying that this game mode so far. I tried for a thief's end. Hell, I I'm loving the shit out of it. Wait, dude, and wait till it wait till later on, dude. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, here we go. Next up, best first person shooters. Half Life, Alex. I need to play this one, but it's in VR only, unfortunately. Um, only in a fish looks so pretty in that game. Who? Elena Fisher, in a... Oh, I tried for it. Yeah, she does. Um, uh, here we go. Another best first-person shooter of the generation. Doom Eternal. Goddamn right. I think it is the best first-person shooter of the generation. Be quiet! Next up, Titanfall 2. I think it's a, I think it's a good shooter. Um, Destiny 2. I think it's good, but not great. Um, the, the new Modern Warfare. I think that is a great game. The new Modern Warfare. Okay, first of all, where's Wolfenstein the New Colossus? I, I would definitely put what New Colossus on there. Mm -hmm. New Colossus is terrific. Um, all right, there's two more. Story-driven and, and then the top tier. So story-driven games. Disco Elysium, Shane has played it. He said he loved it. Um, Kentucky Route Zero, never even heard of that one. Um, what Remains of Edith Finch? I've heard that game. I've heard good things. I love this pick. Hellblade to anyone's sacrifice. Nipple. Anyone who hasn't played that game needs to play. It's on PS4, by the way. Um, to anyone's sacrifice. And then Her Story. Never even heard of it. This right. is a song that I should... Oh my god. Alright, top tier games. Alright, these are what they call like the best of the best. Go ahead, baby. Would you of... shut the fuck up? God of War? God, hell yes. That should be number the one. Wild. Well, I mean, th th these aren't these aren't ordered. They they, they, they just listed them off. Um, Breath of my anus. Breath of the Wild. I can see this, but I don't think it's the I don't think it's among the best. To be honest, Red Dead Redemption Two. No, that's I, the most overrated game of the decade. I would say. Oh, I don't even I don't even know what mine is for that. Uh, The Witcher Three. I love that. That's pick. a great RPG. And then suck it, haters. The Last of Us Part Two. Suck it. Oh. Suck it. Suck it. Suck it. I will, dude. I'm gonna say this. If that game wins Game of the Year or game at the Game Awards, I'm gonna laugh at everybody's face. Um, but that oh. is game. That is the Game Informers Games the Generation right there. Good. Now, my you, I want you two to continue before I have my final two topics. All right, my turn. All right, what do you gentlemen want to hear first? I got ten things. Uh, excuse me. I got three lists on ten uh, top tens. Uh, you want to hear about the ice cream, the desserts, or Arizona? Ooh. You know, just to make Romy happy, I want to hear the Arizona. Okay, Arizona. Oh, you be quiet, see it, cool. Okay, I got this from Toropia. Toropia. This is the top 10 best places to visit in Arizona. Number 10 is the Antelope Canyon. I've heard, yes. That's that's a, that's a unique-looking place. Number 9, Tombstone. Tombstone, Arizona. Yep. It doesn't surprise me. That place is legendary. Gunfight at the OK Corral. Number mm. 8. Scottsdale. Scottsdale is 45 minutes. Okay, so they're adding cities. All right. Uh, Scottsdale, it can be. Yeah, well, it's like 50 minutes from me. From the way I see it, it has that old school western vibe. Looks like a nice little town. That's where a lot of cougars live. <laughs> Number seven, Phoenix. <laughs> really? Number seven, Phoenix. Yeah, okay. Uh, number six is Canyon de Shelly. Canyon, Canyon, uh, Canyon de Shelly. I think that's what it is. Yeah, there's that one. Number five, Monument Valley. Monument Valley is beautiful looking. I've never been there before. Number four, Tus Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. I've been there before. It's oh, it, okay. I don't know why. I mean, it, I don't see Tucson as a tourist attraction place, though. Number three. Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. Glen Canyon National, yep. That's a beautiful area. Number two, Sedona. So, uh, Sedona. Sedona is, that should be near, yeah, it's near the top of the list. I've camped there many times before. Beautiful. I've been there multiple times. It's a beautiful place. I can see it. Number one, Glen Canyon. Grand Canyon National Resort. I want to oh, go wait. there. I want to go to the Grand Canyon. Okay, there's a couple places. That I'm very shocked that's not on this list. And yes, I've seen the movie Tombstone. Great fucking movie. It's a very good uh, movie. Hmm. The way they incorporated, the way they showcased the gunfight at the OK Corral was uh, great. Okay, let me try to name off. Okay, there's a couple that. The Hoover Dam. 
Why wasn't Hoover Dam on there? Hmm. Uh, know. The but town of not the town of <laughs> the town of Jerome. What did you call it, Gary? To uh, Tubby Town. Tubby Town. Go fuck off. Well, as for the Hoover Dam, you want to know why it's not on there? The guy who made the list didn't give a damn. <laughs> no, no, no. The Hoover Dam, the middle of the Hoover Dam is Nevada and Arizona. And you know the funny thing about the Hoover Dam? If you go there, you'll notice a lot of things, such as you'll see a lot of motorcycles being parked in Arizona. Why? Because in Nevada, it's required by law to wear a helmet. So you've seen people wearing helmets before they cross the border. It's so funny. Um, another one, um, Lake, um, Havasu, Lake Havasu, uh, you said Monument Valley. I mentioned that one, uh, Saguaro National Park. Oh, hey, uh, if you want to say that again, go right ahead. What? Look what he said in the comments. Wait, who, look what, who said in the comments. I'm not a, a I'm a fucking Teletubby. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> Anus. I'm angry. I'm very angry. Well, that's not very nice now, is it? Mm, we didn't give a damn. God damn it, Gary. You're right. Oh. Well, I can't do it. Well, well, I can't send my comment anyway. Well, you're right. I'm not funny. I'm hilarious. So there you go. Oops. My bad. It was the wording. Well, not only that, he puts it in caps. Yeah, and it came, came off. As and a, then it came off as a joke, dude. Yeah, the 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 way that the capitalization came off, it came off as something a little bit different instead of a joke. Just like I said, if if you're gonna write something in text, you got to make it more um, humorous. Well, I want to say humorous, but more in detail. Well, more in detail. We make sure they're coming across. Hey, look ass. I didn't know the word. Luke All right, what, is, what, what else are you gonna say? I think that's. Didn't I just m mention most of them? I think so. Okay, who wants to hear about? Who wants to hear some about dessert? <laughs> who wants to hear about? <laughs> oh, and, oh, he got kicked. He kicked himself off. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> streamer is worse worse than Gary with ice cream. Like Twitter is the politics. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, did you press wrong button? I mean, people. Thank God that wasn't the nuclear button. <laughs> oh my, my bottle. Okay, who wants to hear some desserts? Who I want to hear some desserts. Oh, I want desserts. Okay, yum, okay. yum, yum. Okay, top 10 best desserts in the world. Okay, I want to hear this shit. Number 10 is called the sticky date pudding. Sticky date pudding? Basically, it's a toffee pudding. <laughs> What it is it's it's got okay? What it is it's a <laughs> basically what it is? It's a coffee cake with a caramelized sauce. <laughs> what is that? What I'm sorry. It's coffee with coffee and cum. <laughs> Oh my god. This is 133 all over. Okay. It's, it's, got, it's got toffee cake <laughs> with a caramelized pudding inside. So <laughs> when you the, number nine is called the hummingbird cake. The Wait, hummingbird it's called the sticky date? Yeah. That's the best for a steak to go on. Okay, number nine is called the hummingbird cake. The it, hummingbird cake? Let me look this up. The hummingbird cake, it's basically like a cream cheese type of cake. Uh, mm. popular in the southern territories of the USA, and it was a well-known delicacy that came around in Jamaica. I think, okay, now, I don't know what it is specifically, but it looks like, uh... Oh my god, this thing looks like a, um... It's basically like a cream cheese type of cake. Yeah. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's got fucking almonds in it! I don't mind almonds. Alright, uh, next up, everybody loves these. The Common American Classic Chocolate Brownie. Does it have weed in it? Awesome. I, I would love to have that. <laughs> and by the way, I'm just saying. And by the way, Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. That's not how people act when they eat fucking brownies with weed in them. Dumb shits. Oh, 
No, it right. does not at all. Now, you can look at this particular one in both ways. You can look at it as a breakfast or dessert. It depends how you do it. Uh, Belgian waffles. Oh. You can make a Belgian waffle a dessert. You can. You can, you can you actually. Can. You can. Gary? What? I'm shocked. Belgian what? waffles. He said it really good. Well, yeah, because oh, yeah, waffles doesn't have an uh, over-enunciation. That's what, what about a swaffle waffle? <laughs> waffle waffle. All right, next up, numbers. Yeah, with the Belgian waffle, you can have, like, ice cream. You know, oh, Belgian waffles, cream. waffles are great. I love Belgian waffles. <laughs> a cake made out of hummingbirds? That's sadistic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Number six is called tire, tiramisu. Basically, I've heard of that. I've, I absolutely love tiramisu. It's like a little uh, parfait. What, Gary, what's it called again? Tiramisu? Tiramisu. Okay, tiramisu. But yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little, um, it's like a little, um, it's like a little, uh, what the fuck did I say? What it was? It's like a little parfait. It's really good, but it has like certain other stuff in it. Number five is s'mores. I'm everybody surprised it's on the top ten. Okay. Everybody loves s'mores, dude. They're common. S'more guys. what? S'mores. S'more what? Yeah, s'more what? <laughs> Number oh four is this. Portuguese twats. <laughs> <laughs> What's he <it> called? Portuguese <laughs> twats. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh Gary, god. I'm sorry. That's just too late. Oh god, hold on. <laughs> you okay there? No. It's got Portuguese to <laughs> All it is is just a little apple tart where they can put some. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> what is Romy laughing? Dude, what's it called again, Gary? Apple Twatlet. <laughs> no, you said Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese <laughs> Twatlet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. I'm surprised. I, be I picture Mick Rock is dead. <laughs> or my it's like a Mike is dead. Number three is a Banoffee Pie. <laughs> He looks so You know what a Banoffee pie is? The a Banoffee got a Gaddafi. The actual filling is a car okay, it's a caramel layered off with butterscotch sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, I swear you're just walking yourself into this. <laughs> I legitimately try my best to explain what the ingredients are. Whoever wrote the descriptions for this article, thank you. <laughs> yeah, not, not our fault, you have an association. It has the caramel layer, it has butter squash filling, <laughs> it has gold de lache, it's, it has golf top with banana slash <laughs> the banana slash toffee flavored pie with caramel and butter squash sauce. And <laughs> it's All right. <laughs> Back the fuck up! <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I need some oxygen, huh? Hey, guy, 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 get, 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 get it? Gary, no, no, no. You get, 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 get. Gary. get. Guy, 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 no, 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 shh, 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 guy, 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 shh, shh. Okay, let's let him keep going. Come on. Next up, number two is a pal, uh, pav lova, pav lova. Hot lava? I hate that game. I always lose. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Here. This is what it's wait, called. Path? Wait, 
Okay, Gary, how you spell? Okay. Um. <coughs> okay. What the it's hell is this? An, it's basically an Australian delicacy. About uh. <laughs> It's basically like a cake in a way. It's oh, like, yeah, I've seen these before. Oh, my God. This screams like, out diabetes. Holy shit. It's basically like a fruity type cake. It, it's and, very fruity. And number one is the common classic, an ice cream cone. Ooh. Ice cream cone? You know what I'm surprised? <laughs> a, 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 banana, a, a Sunday banana split or hot fudge Sunday or some shit like that. I'm surprised they weren't even on there. I'm surprised too, but ice cream is done. Spirit, we'll get to ice cream momentarily. If you gentlemen want to go over one thing real quick, I got to take a pick. Okay. All right. Okay. Have fun, right. have fun making your yellow submarine. Actually, we'll go over that in a little bit. Um, I got to piss first. We'll go. We'll go. Okay, the don't piss. Submarine. Do you? Yeah, submarine. Gary, don't pull a Howl, Don't pull a Howard Hughes and piss in a fucking milk no, bottle. No, please don't. <laughs> So I realized I just bought some kick ass t shirts as of recently. That's they're, they're, a, they're horror themed shirts, so Oh yeah, these are really creative. What kind of shirts what kind of shirts? Well, well well they're not from Ripped Apparel actually. Uh my <laughs> I buddy, was gonna say Ripped Apparel is usually one of the most uh, well known. Oh <laughs> Ripped Apparel and T Public have some awesome shirt designs. Now uh, my buddy Daniel at my workplace um told me about the site called Dracula Bite. And it's a store, it's a t-shirt store that combines, it has, it's basically a horror theme store that combines either video games or film stuff with metal band imagery as a result. And I bought, and I just bought an Exorcist t-shirt, actually. Oh. <laughs> if, uh, if, you know what, I'm gonna, let me see if I can actually find this thing for you guys. And I bought one for Bloodborne as well, actually. Of course you did. Uh, <laughs> Bloodborne rules, that's why. Okay. Hey, let me see if I can, yes, I can show you guys the Bloodborne shirt. Yep. Okay, so here's the Bloodborne t-shirt. If it's the, if it focuses up. Oh my god, that almost looks like Jack 2. The Jack 2 cover. <laughs> almost does, yeah. And uh, let me find the uh, other one because this one is so damn cool. Hold up. I... <gasps> Uh-oh. Tanner, you're gonna be in the timeout corner with Busty Boo. And here's the other one I just bought. Wow, you're actually changing your shirt for once. <laughs> I bought this one, except this one's in red and yellow. I wear the same shirt all the time, but instead, it's okay. I don't do white shirts. I'm all about black shirts. I look better in black shirts. I wonder, I wonder if this one will actually focus the blood board, because this one actually has an awesome look to it. Will it focus? No, it won't. God, that's weird. But yeah, I, I just bought those two. Go to Dracula Bites. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Gary, hey, Gary, just like Austin and his phones, they can't focus for shit. <laughs> I know, right? Hey, my dad my dad says to me, Squirrel! Yeah. And yeah. I found a shirt from that site, Romy. I think you'd love, and I'm going to get it for you for your birthday. If I had to get a shirt, okay, I don't know what sizes they are. Well, Wait, does... they, 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 go, they, go up, they go up to they go up to pretty high, like an XL, so. Well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm. I'm an extra large tall. That you can only find those in the big and tall store. Um, I'm pretty sure I can find one. Wait, like that. um, does From Software? I don't say they suck. They just, their games are just fucking hard. Yeah, they're just really, they're just really damn. They're hard. hard for all the wrong reasons, though. It depends the way. It depends on the person you talk to about that. Yeah, like um, me, because I don't like when they don't have checkpoints. Sorry. Go, oh, okay. So this one goes to six X. Six X, like like basically basically like six XL. So Gary, don't do it. Like, don't do it, it Gary. XL two X and three four five and six X. Don't like, do it, Gary. Basically six extra large. <laughs> don't do it, you fucking caboose. <laughs> Big blanket. <laughs> Jesus, Gary, you <laughs> fucking nutsack. <laughs> okay, uh, ice cream. Here is the most I iconic ice cream flavors in all 50 states. Alabama, butter pecan. Butter pecan. Butter pecan. 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 It's pecan. What the fuck it is? Alaska, Eskimo ice cream. It is a mixture of... Oh, my God. <laughs> Eskimo ice cream. No you couldn't be any more stereotypical. And, no, or, or any more on the nose, for okay, that matter. Okay, what this ice cream is, it's a berry-flavored ice cream. It has... It's a berry mixture. You know, cranberries, blueberries, strawberries. It's a berry-flavored ice cream. 
Number, okay, Arizona. Horchata. Horchata? I've heard of that. <laughs> Never had horchata. Oh, man. Not sure what it tastes like. Uh... Horchata is more of a okay. It's like a um, it's a it's a Mexican drink. It's like a beverage. Oh well, orchid sauce. Uh, banana. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking orchid sauce. Orchid sauce. Banana, banana nut. Mixture of banana ice cream and almonds. California, New Poland. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I actually call it. I call it Nepal. Um, <laughs> Nepalitan. <laughs> New Poland. Okay, Colorado, the classic. <laughs> Here we go again. The classic root beer flow. Oh. Root beer. A and W. I know Lars Sullivan would know. Just have your fucking fingers. Root, it doesn't matter what root beer. It's just root beer flow. It's a classic. Gary, speaking of root beer, speaking of AEW, I know Lars Sull Sullivan would know. Oh, for God's sakes! <laughs> Connecticut almond joy. Oh God. Thank you. I know I've actually never had this ice cream. This is a popular flavor. Uh the mint chocolate chip. That actually sounds pretty good. I've never had it before. It sounds good. Florida is orange sherbet. I've never actually had that flavor. Oh my god. It, it, Florida, oh, the orange oh, state. Oh, what? Oh, Fuck it, he never had orange sherbet. I I I, I had primarily whole yeah. I had primarily oh, Oreo. I probably have cookies and cream, vanilla, and sometimes Gary. vanilla with with with, with a fudge topping on it. Gary, first of all, he's from Florida. He doesn't know what the fucking flag looks like. <laughs> I don't pay attention to the flag, okay? Okay, I don't know what's worse. You don't know what orange sherbet is, or the fact that Lucas has never had a fucking Oreo milkshake. I don't well, know. The fact that has an Oreo milkshake, I mean, come on. Lucas has never had an Oreo milkshake. I yelled at him so fucking bad that day. It was ridiculous. No, oh, no, 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 get me wrong. Do I know of the Oreo sherbet? Yes. I know. I actually know of it. Is. It is so delicious. An Oreo milkshake is fucking amazing. What does the Florida flag look like? Does it have three color stripes? <laughs> uh, Georgia. Oh, oh. What is it? Peach ice cream. Oh, come on, dude. How stereotypical can you fucking be? I'm from Georgia. Come on, dude. All right. uh, uh, Alaska with, with, with Eskimo, Eskimo ice cream. Now it's Florida with orange and, and Georgia with peach. Okay, uh, Hawaii. Be a little more original than that. Hawaii is Ubi ice cream. Again. <laughs> I've never had Ubi. So, so on the nose. What the fuck? <laughs> Idaho is Huckleberry. <laughs> Huckleberry. That kind of makes sense, actually. Be my oh, Culver's is the greatest place ever. Culver's is amazing, yeah. Illinois. Oh, no. What? Chocolate malt. <laughs> Basically just chocolate ice cream. Hey, uh, hey, Lauren, a hey, Wonder Woman, a.k.a. the beautiful brunette lady. Is that true? Oh, here's an uh, Indiana. Same thing. Uh, chocolate ice cream. Yeah, you know the strange uh, thing is, I mean, I don't. It's not that I don't like chocolate ice cream. I just prefer vanilla any day over it. I can oh, eat straight chocolate, man. That, that'll make me sick. I actually enjoy uh, vanilla ice cream too. I don't mind it. Always, yes. People always say, "Oh, vanilla is always bland," but here's the thing about vanilla it's ice cream. Vanilla ice cream has different variations. There's the French vanilla. There's a sweet vanilla. Thank you. Vanilla can come in such different variations with its flavor. You can get birthday cake flavor vanilla. There's so many different variations where you can get creative with vanilla. It's a good I agree. I and it's it. better with Oreos in it. I agree. Or even better with, with hot with hot with hot fudge sauce on top of it. Yeah, Gary, hot fudge. I prefer vanilla with peanut butter in it too. That's a good one. But Gary, hot fudge. What fudge? I love fudge. <laughs> Uh, or, or Gary to make you even happy with a cherry on top. Even a cherry, yeah, and gold. That, cherry always goes with the ice cream. Sundae. That's the only cherry he's going to be popping. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> you are if you don't laugh at that, get the fuck out of here. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. No, no Gary. Gary, Gary. Oh, you are such an asshole. Right yeah, okay. Me. I'm sorry that yeah, the you only. Apologize. I'm sorry that you don't. The cherry, you're going to be. 
no, I won't say Papa. You're going to make sweet love to is a Carl Sheeta because she's a nice, sensual, lovely, athletic, professional wrestler and beautiful lady. Is that better? Uh, <laughs> Iowa. 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 Funny, Iowa. There you go. Funny tracks. It's basically. What, wait, wait, what's it called? Bunny tracks. I never had that before. Hold up. Basically, okay, vanilla ice cream with caramel foot swirls, <laughs> chocolate colored peanuts, and peanut butter. It's actually I've had it before. Oh, uh, the wait, bunny, huh. uh, blue bunny. Next up, Kansas is purple pride. I haven't even had that one either. Next Fuck, up, are they a fan uh, of grimace? Uh, Kentucky is vanilla. That, there <laughs> we go. There we go. Uh, Louisiana is. P- uh, Praline pecan. Huh. Next pecan. up, Maine is blueberry. Interesting. Number next up, Maryland is Maryland mud. All it is is just all. Oh Maryland. my god! Fuck it. So stereotypical. <laughs> Again, on any could it be more on the nose? Okay, you know what it is? It's just chocolate ice cream with chocolate chips and Oreo pieces. That's it. Mm. Next oh up, my god. Massachusetts is maple nut. Maple or flavored ice cream. <clears throat> Once again, fuck it. <laughs> uh, Michigan. Now, this is an ice cream flavor I don't like. The Superman flavored. What? I don't like Superman ice cream. How dare you? It's just a fucking bootleg of the f- Sherbert. That's all it tastes like to me. It's amazing. Uh, amazing my ass. It tastes like a bootleg of No, it does Sherbert. not. Yes, it does. It- Superman no, it more does. like super dump. Thank you very much. Uh, it, it, I understand it's got the all two of you flavor. get you. It tastes like a bootleg of Sherbert. Superman's amazing. I don't get well, that at all. Superman ice cream. It tastes like Sherbert. A boot like You get the fuck Sherbert. out of here. Minnesota is salted caramel. <laughs> salted caramel? Mississippi. Mississippi mud. All the Again. Oh my God, dude. Is it. I mean, what's. I mean, if we're going by fucking stereotypes, uh. All it is is a rich chocolate ice cream with pork swirls, chocolate cookies, <laughs> and almond nuts. And Jesus, it. Gary. Next up, ooh, Missouri is chocolate chip cookie dough. All right. Oh, that. There you uh, go. Right. Now we're talking. That's awesome. I love that. Alexa Taylor is, I love ice cream. <laughs> okay, you know what's the truth? Okay, this is the honest God's truth about women, and it's not, not stereotypical. This is the fucking fact. And I've said this many times before. Women love chocolate. It's in their fucking DNA. Oh, they do. Hey, Ma, you love chocolate, don't you? She's like, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah girls love chocolate. Unless if they're, of course, allergic to it. How can you be allergic to chocolate? Hey, I feel like some people can be. I'm just saying. That's Not racist. racist. <laughs> That's of course you'd make that joke. Montana. Okay, I've never heard of this. A hmm? s'mores flavored ice cream. You ever heard of oh, s'mores flavored no. ice cream? Oh yeah, I've yeah. heard of that. I've never heard of that. I'm surprised you've ever heard of that. That yeah. Nebraska butter brickle. Butter brickle. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. It's uh-uh. like come on, no. say it. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Say it, or else I'm changing your name. To what? I'm changing it to this. It's going to stay until you say it. All right. All right. It's fucking... (laughs) Butter Brickle. Fuck. Butter Brickle Buddy Bars. Motherfucking Butter Brickle... Butter Brickle... Buddy bars. Uh, next hey, up, hey, Giuseppe. Strawberry ice box. That's his favorite. Next up, Nevada is chocolate again. Dark chocolate. Hmm. Uh, New Hampshire is pumpkin flavored ice cream. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, uh, some, wait, Cap- Snow White. Captain Morgan is the ice to my cream. God damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, New Jersey is watermelon. I'm not. 
Oh, and mom, right. if you lived in New Jersey, you would love their favorite ice cream. Uh, New watermelon. Mexico. This can't get no more stereotypical. Oh no. New, New Mexico York. is chocolate chili. I thought it would be um the Arizona beverage that you mentioned, because that's a Mexican drink. Oh wow, this is a very big surprise for New York. New York is the cherry flavor is cherry flavored ice cream. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised it isn't nothing that uh, relates to apple. Hey, dude, Buddy Boy back there, he loves cherry ice cream. What what did you, you call him? Buddy Boy. Buddy Boy? I do call him Buddy Boy. I bet you he likes Buddy Bars. Oh, he does like Buddy Bars. The North, mm -hmm. Carolina, North Carolina Wolf Tracks. Hungry uh, Wolf. I've never uh, even heard of that. It's a combination of chocolate and vanilla ice cream with fudge chunks. <laughs> Damn it! I fucking spat all over the place! It's going over my keyboard! I'm glad you did that, Gary, right? There. Damn it! <laughs> that could have been more appropriate. You asshole! I don't think he meant to do that. My shirt is all soaked! It was just coincidence. Or is God, the baby upset? I need, to, I need to wear a fucking bib. Oh, is God, the baby damn upset? It, dude. I'm very upset. Baby Huey's upset. He made me spit all over the place, not swallow. Like a good boy should. Right, Gary? Oh my God. Well, what about me? Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Soaked! Oh, get a towel. Oh, you're soaked. I see. Get a towel. Clean it up. What the fuck do you think I've been wiping with? <laughs> Mr. Hanky. Okay, but yeah, it has four chunks. Damn it. <laughs> it has many peanut butter cups in it, too. Next up, North Dakota is rhubarb ice cream. Hmm. Fubar? Yeah, I got fubarb. Next up, or Ohio is chocolate peanut butter ice cream. Ooh, that's one of my favorites. Well, wait, chocolate. Pe <laughs> okay, that's pretty much that's pretty much a re uh, Reese's. Well, <laughs> that's pretty much Reese's. Uh, Oklahoma Reese's. is strawberry ice cream. Uh, Oklahoma strawberry is that their like their um. Oregon is berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad that likes berries and cream. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Pennsylvania is brownie ice cream. Uh, Rhode Island is espresso. Oh my god. Uh, South Carolina is an ice cream called Payday. It is uh, oh, Payday. It's basically vanilla ice cream with caramel topping and yep. uh, oh, nuts. Uh, uh, yeah, that honey uh, candied hazelnut. Mm hmm. South Dakota is cookies and cream. Hmm. That's a good one. That's the best one. Tennessee is cotton candy. <laughs> I don't like cotton candy. Cotton candy. Yeah. Texas is vanilla. That's surprising from Texas. Utah is cherry chip. Cherry chip? Uh, Vermont is tea berry. It's basically tea, tea with yeah. berries. Yeah, tea bag. Virginia is caramel apple. Tea bag. I'm surprised that's not New York. Washington is coffee ice cream. <laughs> and West Virginia is black walnut. Wisconsin is blue moon ice cream. Blue moon? I know that's a beer, but uh, huh. Uh, ba what it is? <laughs> No one, they're not really showing what it is, but I'm assuming it's like blueberry, but I don't know. Why Morgan is the, why Morgan is the, oatmeal cookie dough? Ew. And that's all of them. Fucking yeah. oatmeal. Wait, Morgan is the key to my be quiet. Right? <laughs> and no, I'm not giving you a damn dime. That kid ain't mine. Oh my god, that fucking rhymed. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean for that to rhyme three times in a row. <laughs> I ain't giving you a goddamn dime because that kid ain't mine. Oh, shit, that rhymed. Oh, my God. Jesus, you and your rhyming, Romy. I don't know, that was actually pretty good. I didn't even mean for that to happen. 
I can't deny that was actually pretty good. Oh, I think Walter asked the question. He goes, are you going to be reviewing the new Happy Mass Film Hubris Halloween? No. Tyler? Okay, dude. I was talking to Tyler about it. And he made the funniest he made the funniest line like I if he was if he was you know officially you know on Rotten Tomatoes I want them to use this as their um as you know how they give you like a one liner to a certain critics like um like like line for like a, a review yeah. this is what Tyler said Tyler Calver, and this was the greatest thing. He goes, I don't think it was better than the wrong Missy, but not by much. I it's it'd be like picking whether I prefer to be shot or stabbed. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh my god. And yeah, I, Tiffany, I know you like Amelia Clark. That's probably why you're a fan of Game of Thrones. Hey, uh, Game of Thrones, I, I will defend Season 8 until the series finale. <laughs> You're the old one, the few. <laughs> hey, at the series finale, I've always said this. The first half an hour, I love. Everything after that, mixed bag. Speaking Who the hell is Fred Ficklehorn? Speaking of rhyming, I want to read you all a little poem that I wrote. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You know my little poem I wrote? Mm. You know? Hello. I actually wrote a little poem. I wrote a little poem called Fuck No Luck. Oh my God. <laughs> Fuck No Luck? Yeah, I wrote a poem recently called Fuck No Luck. <laughs> that, should be the por- that should be the porn spinoff of Pressure Luck. <laughs> oh, my God. So, it's, a, it's a dirty poem, but I wrote it because it's funny. So here's my little poem by me. <gasps> Fuck No Luck. Giuseppe, I ought to whoop your ass, boy. By the way, after you're done, I gotta share. I gotta talk about what Giuseppe did. It was pretty fucking sweet. There you go. That is an awesome weapon. Oh my god, what do you want? Uh oh. What? Do you want? Oh, oh, that's all. Oh, that's Fred. Honestly, he's just annoying, and I just don't even pay attention to him. Oh, that son of a bitch. Okay, I'm gonna read you all my little poem. My eyes are open and I see her walking. I went up to her and started talking. I asked her what she might, what she, where she might go at this time at night. She said, I just need some air. I'm feeling light. I sat there and worry. I had to think of something in a hurry. I told her, don't worry, honey. I'll help you out. I got something big that'll make you shout. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Yes, <laughs> with a shock. All of a sudden, she pulled down my pants to suck my cock. What? (laughs) I'm reading a poem that I wrote. That's the hell of a poem, Gary. Anyway, that's gonna be that's gonna be nominated the AVN Awards. I'm reading a poem. I'm reading a poem. Sounds like wishful thinking. Anyways. She swallowed down deep and hard for the big blow. Oh my god. I told her, ready or not, here I go. Can I finish the blow? <laughs> Afterwards, after, anyways, after she got the final score, she charged me 60 bucks and I said, fuck, what a whore. What a whore. Instead of Dr. Seuss, Gary's Dr. Caboose. Not Dr. Caboose. <laughs> now explain to me about wishful thinking. <laughs> That is, hello, daddy. <laughs> um, what do you mean by Poppy? Uh, no, she's no. It's, it's Snow White. She's telling. She's telling hello, daddy. Uh, I'm just okay. like, are we role playing again? <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I, Captain Morgan's gonna be like, you're in trouble, Romy. <laughs> Back to the doghouse I go. Okay, let me, let me tell you something. Can't a man dream? <laughs> Never mind. Not wait. if you're to- not if you're Tommy oh, Lauren. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wet dreams. <okay. laughs> I don't get wet dreams. <laughs> you're being very mean to me right now. That explains why he's always changing his bed sheets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why he's buying OxyClean. <laughs> <laughs> this will help you get the cum stains out in no time. Here's how to order. I hate him. I- <laughs> I don't like any of you people. 
I don't like the person. You, you people. people. I don't like you any people. I don't like any of you people at all. You, 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 you probably want to why I mentioned Tommy Lauren because Tommy Lauren made a video about her and dating guys and what she <laughs> thinks of guys, and it's so fucking pathetic. That's why I mentioned that. For God's sake. Wait, that's why it's all. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, that's understandable. We got Gary. What do you mean, you people? Yeah. You're making fun of me. Butthole over here is making fun of me. But you say you people. What do you mean, yeah. you people? You heard me. Bit, bit, You're the one who said it. Just yeah, because my name's Jerome. What? <laughs> Nothing. It's okay to pretend to be, uh. What? 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 It's okay to pretend to, you know, paint yourself. <laughs> Be a horse of a different color. God damn it. I don't know where the hell this is going. Let's go. Oh, dude, the goose, the size has a, wait, the size has a dude, pretend to be another dude. I love Tropic Thunder. That movie oh, is that, so, that film is amazing. That film holds up and speaks the truth because it's like a fucking satire on Hollywood and culture. And, you know, it's oh, like a, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, Roddy Piper for WrestleMania 6. <laughs> you want to know the truth about that? Gary. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You remember, okay, how he was, he was, he went up against uh, Bad News Brown, and he was half himself and half black with the black shit. Yeah. Get this. Huh? The guys backstage pulled a prank on him, and they took away the stuff that helps him remove the, st uh, the, the stuff out. So he was walking. So he was like that for the past three, the next three days or so, according to. <laughs> oh, my God. So it was a permanent thing. <laughs> it was a permanent thing for a few days. <laughs> I think this was according to Brian Zane. Go ahead. No, that, that's it. Oh, Jesus, Gary. Go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? Well, do your shit. Zebra. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Here. <laughs> What the hell, dude? All righty. Here we go. Okay. Here are, Romy, which Seth Rogen movie do you consider the worst? Uh, funny People or the Green? Oh, Funny People is a good movie. Green Hornet was bad. It was Green so Hornet bad. I thought was okay, but Funny People was actually really underrated. It's very underrated. And here, here's what I think of Green Hornet. They should call him the Brown Hornet. Here's why. That was Oh, oh my god. Did you hear what he said? The Green Hornet was a terrible movie. He's I didn't think it was oh, that oh, bad. Oh, buddy boy didn't like the Green Hornet. It's <laughs> a stupid movie. It was so bad. Okay. The best. Okay. Oh, these wait. are the greatest fourth installment in films. I have a couple of honorable mentions. Uh, Star Trek IV, The Voyager Home. Yeah. Uh. Wait. Yeah, be uh be kind rewind. It's actually an underrated movie. Uh sudden impact, best the dirty Harry fourth installment, you know, go ahead, make my day. And that was directed oh, okay. by oh, that was directed by Clint Eastwood. Hmm. Yeah. This one oh again with the mute. Uh this one, okay, there was two names for this movie. And mm -hmm. I think this movie is underrated because it was so much fun. Um Die Hard 4.0 or Live Free and Die Hard? That, I don't get the hate for that movie, Live Free the and movies, Die Hard. Uh, and you know what? I saw the uh, the director's cut. The it's, it's even better. It's even better. It's so underrated. Die Hard 5. We oh, talk about we don't, Die Hard 5. We don't Dude, talk about I only that. saw five minutes of that movie. I turned it right off. So and my last honorable mention, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I love that. The Goblet of Fire is, is great. It's three, four, and eight are the ones I actually cared about. I agree. Okay, here we go. Do I like all the movies? So, mm, not minus the Fantastic Beasts, more to not, not Fantastic Beasts, Crimes Are Gonna We'll never talk about that movie. I think um, the fifth one is arguably the worst one. It is. I, think I it's hated the that movie. Oh, it's God. definitely the weakest one, but I think over the years I've gained more of an appreciation for it. Here we go. Number five, Mission Impossible: Ghost Protocol. Love. I mean, I mean, oh, oh, okay. I mean, I know what you mean. Okay. Remember, folks, he got a D in math. Yeah. 
I, I Ghost Protocol, by the way, amazing movie. Although Rogue, Na- I, although Rogue Nation and Fallout are even better. No, I think Fallout is without question the best. Oh, God, it's one of the best action films ever made, if you ask me. What are your thoughts on anti? Fuck Lars von Trier and fuck everything he does because he's a sick, pathetic piece of shit. And I his will movies say, are pretty much his ego speaking out. No Fanatic Part One is actually a great damn. That movie. is a terrific movie. It. Mirror. Part yeah, one. I, part one is great. Part but two. Part two. The ending ruins everything. If it, if it wasn't not, if it wasn't the part two, that would have actually been the best thing he's ever done. Easily. Yeah. Because but, it, but I was if just he, like, sorry. Yeah, but you know he had to give the fucking middle finger like he always does. But I will say I will be able to separate part one and two and say you know what? part one is actually a terrific movie. I can say that, but. <sighs> yeah, I I know it's 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 technically a two part movie. Yep. Uh, here we go. Compared to the anti crisis, is fucked up though. Max case. Payne, oh my god, that's one of the worst. Uh, I worst. was so excited to see that movie too because I Fucking love that was original. Boring game. as shit. Mark Wahlberg is not Max Payne. Let me say that right now. He is not. <laughs> There's not a single thing that they even got. Actually, no. That I think they got. One they got one thing, thing right, right, but except they did it in super super with him doing the backflip, shooting the shock. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't. I mean, no, I was talking about that, that one little thing where they mentioned the death of his wife and his kid. That's about it. But even then, like, if you played the video game, it's a graphic old. Dude, the video game. game. That's like one of the greatest action games ever made. Oh, dude, I remember the. I will. I'll say this once again. That probably have to go through that maze, going on that tiny little ledge. Otherwise, if you fall off, it, oh. You know it's true. Okay, in the first Max Payne, when they okay, the guy who wrote the game, mm-hmm. he actually plays the Max Payne character in the comics. Oh, yeah, Sam Lake. Yeah, Sam Lake. Yeah, he's the, uh, he's, the, he's the face model for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just fucking fart. I wish I recorded it. Uh, <laughs> number four, Mad Max Fury Road. Hell yeah, Mad Max Fury Road. That's one of the great dude. Okay, non-action fans even like that movie. What does that tell you? Uh, well, my buddy Sarah hate is not a big fan of action movies. Even she was like, "That's how you do an action movie." Uh, number three, Toy Story four. I agree. Uh, fucking amazing movie man i bawled i thought man, it was on my least anticipated films of the year same like, i guess the, what end up being my number two best film of the year like, the way i compare and the way i compare that movie is what i is the way i compare uncharted 4 i don't think we need an uncharted 4 but uncharted 4 was amazing i can't wait for you to see the rest of that game dude i can't wait wait oh okay what gotcha. but like toy story 4 i didn't think we needed a toy story 4 at all but i was dead wrong on that one. Mike, what the fuck is this? Baggy. Let's get the shit out. First, Mike scares the shit out of me with this, and then you scared the shit out of me with your garbage. Well, well it actually was garbage. No joke oh, there. God damn it. My number two and my number one, I'm going to be kind of, I want to say cheating, but I found a loophole. <laughs> They kind of count, though. Number two, Avengers Endgame. It, it does count because it's the fourth movie. Of it the is Avengers. the fourth. Or, yep. And this was going to be my number one. However, the rightful movie, I believe this deserves to be number one. Number one, Star Wars, A New Hope. I agree. Watch the Road Warriors. That's the best of the year. Oh, easily. The Road Warriors, uh, Mad Max 2, easily the best one. Uh, oh, Ma- oh, Mad, Max 2, Mad Max 2 and Free Road are the best ones. Yep. I'll even say that the original is damn good, although it's nothing like Road Warrior. Nothing oh, like Road Warrior movie. destroys it, man. Dude, that, that was the introduction to Shao Kahn. <laughs> Humongous. Did you know that was me in the movie? Uh, of course it was. <laughs> even though the movie came out like before I was born, I believe. Mm-hmm. It's not called A New Hope, Romy. I know, but I'm just... He's just saying it. I'm, Merritt, there was a loophole. You know, kind of like with Velveteen Dream and how he escaped that nonsense. Exactly. I almost want to talk about that, but I'll do it next week. Yeah, Velveteen Dream, that sick fuck. Okay, what else do I have? Um. Okay, I was going to do this with Shano, but Shano's not here, so... Oh, I love Shao Kahn. He's my favorite, one of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters. I can do... You want to go over the 10 worst films of 2002? Yeah. The 10 Worst Films of 2002. Uh, my number one best film of this year, uh, the first Mad Max is underrated. It's not bad. I, I think the Road Warrior is superior. Um, 
2002. My number one film of 2002 wasn't The Two Towers. It was my, that was my number two, ironically. No pun intended. It was uh, Catch Me If You Can. Uh, yes. Which it wasn't even nominated for Best Picture. Such bullshit. Wait, with Romeo and Mills, there's no new hope. Oh, you fuck off. <laughs> that's actually that's something that Captain Morgan or Snow White would say. Wait, who said that? <laughs> he bar bros. Well, okay, that's all. There's your other. There's your other. Comment. Uh, there you go. There's your comment. There's your other comment of the day. Oh, speaking of Cap Captain Morgan, just sent me two cute kitties. Oh, yeah, you cute oh, kitties. Jesus, here we go. I want, I want the here we go again. You're be quiet. I like the kitties. I like cute kitties. Oh, oh, Hunter Warwick. I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, but yeah, it's so damn good. It's fucking awesome. It's one of my favorite Spielberg movies. Hey, you boo. What are you yawning for? You make me tired. Well, what happens when I fuck for you so hard? Well, I want to go to bed. Shut up! Mm -hmm. Shut up! Pillsbury. Yeah, you look like the fucking Pillsbury Doughboy. Hey, I'll bring that as a compliment. Pillsbury Doughboy's awesome. You don't fuck with T Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, he turned into the Stay Push Marshmallow Man. Hey. Unlike him, I'm the Michelin Tire mascot. Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, I'm a dog person, but I like some kitties. Everybody, everybody loves kitty cats. Unless Except you're allergic. my brother. I don't know. Oh. Because Alex well, is a he, he's, he's also allergic to cats. So I love to cuddle and snuggle. So do I with the kitty. <laughs> Gary, what the fuck is that? What's the look? <laughs> is he choking his chicken? <laughs> it was from an episode of SpongeBob. Yeah. Best SpongeBob episode ever, uh, Band Geeks. Oh, that is a, one of my. Oh, that is a classic. That's one of the. That's to me. Well, um, in terms of SpongeBob, it's best with to stick with the first three. The first maybe, three or four seasons. First three, four seasons got to stick with. Oh, okay. so it just wasn't exciting for me. <laughs> Excuse me. It's kind of like uh, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Like the first four seasons were the fucking best, dude. And then when when they went to school, that's where it, it kind of lost. The movie was good. The movie was really good. It's terrific, actually. I got uh, Pillsbury Doughboy up there because come on now. All right, I, I like I said, uh, Walter. That's something you need to ask Austin when it comes to modern film questions. Oh, did you see the new cast of the Adam McKay? I don't like Adam McKay. I don't uh, like. I, 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 I did see it. Um, I, I, I need to see Trial of the Chicago Seven, which is the new Aaron Sorkin movie coming out. Pizza Delivery is a good episode. What was the episode with that? Uh, with that burger, it was like that awful. Uh. It was like a stinky uh, Krabby Patty burger or something like that. Oh, yes. I remember which – I know what we were talking about. I just, I just forgot the name of it as I well. couldn't stand Vice. That movie was made for one specific reason, fucking politics. Okay, okay. here well, are my words. The other guy is so underrated. I love that movie. That's the only movie I like from his. I love Step Brothers. I'm sorry. Don't you fucking dare say Step Brothers. Fuck I that like movie. I Step Brothers. Yeah. Step okay, off, I'll, I'll step stop. off the fucking ladder. <laughs> I'll stop. And, wait a minute. Uh, hold on, man. Okay. Fuck off! Okay, not as I was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. The worst films of 2002. Here oh, are this. some honorable mentions. Um, uh, the hot bitch or the hot chick. There we go. Oh yeah, that movie's terrible. Uh, the tuxedo. That's with Jackie Chan and. Uh, yeah. We, yeah don't, we don't talk about tux. That's another rule in the show. We don't talk about tuxedos anymore. <laughs> you fucking penguin. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Thirty-one flavors. <laughs> that's the rule on this program. I'm totally going one. We don't. <laughs> Tuxedos are not allowed to be discussed on this program. Jesus. His head looked like a fucking zit. That's ready to pop. Would you keep going? <laughs> You're done. You're fired. You're done. You're no longer You're fired. On You're done. You're done. <laughs> you want to apologize for that? For that? Okay, I'm sorry for I'm the big fat dumb pumpkin eating prick. Is that better? You better. That's better. Okay. Uh, John Q. Fuck this movie. Have you ever 
I've with Denzel sure Washington. Yeah, I've heard of it. It's, it's ages. bullshit. Um, Snow Dogs. Oh, oh Snow. And Friday After Next. Just stick with the original Friday, because that is, movie is, is that, a mass. Is that the third Friday movie? Yes. Yeah, that's what I've heard. The first Friday movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. I fucking love I know that movie by heart. By Felicia. And it was, you know what's so funny? Yeah, it was directed by F. Gary Gray. And mm-hmm. it was, okay, and it was written by Ice Cube. Yes, it and was. And then they show it straight out of Compton, which was also directed by F. Gary Gray. And it shows Ice Cube played by his son. Mm-hmm. Type in the, the way, play for Friday. Fun fact: <laughs> John Singleton gave him the inspiration to write Friday. Yes, he did. He, he said to him. He always said to him, "If you can write a record, you can write a movie." John Singleton. Uh, I was not a fan of his later films. It, they were not good. His earlier films, really good, especially uh, "Boys in the Hood." Fucking I, master. I love "Boys in the Hood." They, so that good. ending just oh, my oh it's God. heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Okay, number ten, Halloween Resurrection. Fucky, fucky. <laughs> you, know, you know, you know what the funny fucky, thing is, fucky. Rick Rosenthal, who did Halloween, too, said that John Carpenter ruined his movie, where he directed one of the worst Halloween movies. Yeah, is this the one with uh, oh, um, uh, Buster ja Rhymes? Oh, but not Ja Rule, Buster Rhymes. Yeah, uh, ha- f- Halloween H two O though, that's a good sequel. That's a really good one. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. And by the way, I wouldn't be surprised if they took the PTSD thing for the new Halloween from Halloween H two O. I would not be surprised Sp- about that. Spider Man <laughs> is not on here. Don't worry. Even though I don't uh, like you for him, Bar- Baron not be Spider Man Two is be amazing. quiet. You be quiet. He's on. He's hanging onto the subway. He looks like he's fucking shitting out. Fucking he's, chuckle lava he's storm. He's trying to stop a fucking train, bro. At least when I'm trying to stop a train, it looks like I'm lifting weights. Not look like when I'm like my ass is going to explode from from a fucking giant chocolate meatball. I'd probably like the same way if I'm being honest. Uh, number nine, the new guy. Never even saw that one. Oh, uh, this is uh, it's with this. It's about a guy who's trying to get a look or trying to be a badass or something. And he goes to prison and it's so fucking stupid. Mm-hmm. Number eight, a lot of people have this at number one. Swept away. Never saw swept away with Madonna and Guy Ritchie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, don't let couples direct a movie. This movie, uh, the movie Mother, and many others. Mm-hmm. The mayor mind also Paul W. Sanders and Emilia Jovovich as well. Yeah, and other films are shit. Oh, and let's not forget Dirty Love. Oh, oh my god. god. The one of the top five worst movies of all time. What? Num- you, dude. what? You should, look at this bullshit you sent me. First things first, you sent me this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Then you sent me this. <laughs> Psycho Mike, when he held that orange, that was the funniest fucking photo I've ever seen him do. Psycho Mike is fucking funny, man. That guy, dude, Psycho Mike is Gary's twin. Really? They're fucking Gary. I, I was even talking to Captain Morgan, and she said the same thing. She goes, dude, Gary and Mike are fucking twins. Really? Wait, Dirty Love won't. Wait, yes, it did. It, it won Worst Director, Picture, Actress, and Screenplay. It's one of the worst fucking things ever. Number seven, Half Past Dead. That's the Steven Seagal movie where they're in prison. It's so bad. Number <laughs> six, one of the worst action movies ever made. Ballistics, Ballistic, X vs. Oh, Seven. I never even saw that one. <laughs> now, Beard. <laughs> fucking vagi- hairy vagina face, turd. Tissue. God damn it, Gary. <laughs> Number five, Jason X. Oh, God. I will say that that movie has two amazing kills. No, it has one. It's the Sub Zero kill. But the 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 sleeping bag always makes me fucking. Die. Oh, when he's beating so the hard. shit. Oh, God. That, I, I always. The movie is so stupid. Do not get me wrong, but the Sub Zero kill and the sleeping bag kill are, are classics. That's about it, though. The movie sucks otherwise. Uh huh. Number four. I have a nickname for it. It's called Mr. D's Nuts. Oh, uh, Mr. Deeds. Yeah, Mi- I can agree with that. Mr. Deeds with cancer. Not, not a good movie. Mr. And guess what? In my top five, three out of the five films are Happy Mads and Fucked Hard films. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Mr. Sandman. <laughs> 
Go fuck yourself. Do, 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 do. And go out and read the Bible. <laughs> yeah! Come on, so, really quick, if I can cut this one really quick. I just found something about PS5 trophies. Yeah. Apparently, PS5 trophies will unlock avatar pictures, profile banners, and more. Why didn't it do that before? Don't know. But they're doing it now, and I'm excited for it. What what rank are you? Because they jacked up the ranking. I have no idea. Because I was at level 16, almost 17. And I have like 37 platinums, I think. 37. My apologies. Keep going. My apologies. (laughs) Number three, sorority boys. Never saw that. Bad. Yeah, most of my picks are fucking comedies. Number two, another Happy Madison fucktard film. The worst animated film of all time. Oh, Eight Crazy, crazy Nightmares. nightmares. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Gary? Mr. Sandman, go fuck yourself. Go read the Bible. Please become a Catholic. No, Mr. I said... Mr. Sandman's no. a fuck behind. I don't, and, and, and you ruined it. It goes, go fuck yourself. Da, 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 and please go out and read the Bible. <laughs> That's how it goes. Mr. Sandman. Okay, Gary, be quiet. Or else I'm going to be turned into Mr. Sam and knock the shit out of you. Wait, Romy needs to read the Bible because he made the ultimate sl- sin sleeping with my girlfriend. <laughs> Commit adultery? She told me she, she told me it was it was human anatomy 101. <laughs> what? Well, she looks like young Sharon Tate. How can I say no? She does. She looks like young Sharon Tate. It's crazy. God damn it. Number one, one of my negative ones I've given. Another Happy Madison fucked our film. Jesus. The Masturbator of Disgust or The Master of Disguise. I've only seen a couple of minutes of it. Holy shit nuggets. Larson, you don't want to see that movie. This is beyond bad. That's what I do. Guys, it's a monstrosity. It's it's dude, it's it's got a one percent rating. The only thing that I've seen from it is clips from Nostalgia Critic, and that's all I've seen. When he was good. And you know that scene with the turtle? Like they 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 promote it. Actually, I've seen that scene. I, I call it the masturbator of disgust. It's <laughs> Alex Taylor says Alex Taylor says toot toot. <laughs> toot toot. Yeah, I feel sorry for Dana Carvey too. You know why? Because he had to do that awful pre- PlayStation Five uh <laughs> Uh, what time is it? Two seventeen. I can go over. Okay, I'm gonna go over this. I'll save the worst film sequels next week. Uh, oh wait, Gary, what? we're supposed to play a game. Oh, we yeah. were. I forgot all about. It. Okay, yeah, we're supposed to play a game. I was gonna let's, go over. Let's, the do, worst... let's do it really quick. Let's do it really quick. I was gonna go over the worst wrestling matches of the decade, but I'll save that for next week. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, I had I have my two movie reviews, but you know I can save that for next week. I can save uh, that. Oh, dinner plate nipples, here we go. Yeah, we okay, by the way, in the mouth of madness, really good John Carpenter movie, I should say. Mm-hmm. Underrated movie. We're gonna it, play. It feels like it. feels like it feels like he did a, tw- a zone of Twilight episode, a uh, fully a full length version of Twilight Zone. Felt like to me at least. We're gonna play a little blackjack. Ooh. Red ship is Austin. White ship is the other guy. Oh, other guy. Okay. Bef- set it up. I got wait. Gary and Psycho Mike were separated at birth. Yeah, by uh, by ten years. <laughs> well, he did it last oh week. Oh no, three weeks ago. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, come on now. I don't have it. Uh, okay. yeah, four, four, 14. Boop, fourteen. Boop. Austin. Fourteen. Uh, stand. Five fifteen. Stand. Hit. Seven, seven. 18. Stay. Fuck, he beat me right there. Okay. Hey, Gary, hold up. Before you flip up the card, make your screen big and put us on the side. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's better. Better. That's, that's better. better. Okay. Well, guess what? I win. Of course you got to fuck you 20. Uh-huh, I win. Let's keep it going. I win. Okay, Actually, I- for my match, worst matches of the decade, my number one is... It's between two matches, actually, and it's rightfully deserving. Okay. 14. 14 again? You know what? I'll go with a hit me. 16. Oh. Uh, you know what? Standing. I'm standing on that one. Give okay. me a nine. Don't give me a, don't give me a, don't give me a fucking face card. What? Don't, okay. 
No. What, a what, face card, isn't no, it? No, what is it? What is it? What, come on, put the kid. It's a face put card. Put the goddamn card down! Put it down! Put, put it, it down. down! I saw the diamonds! That's not... Put, put, flip the card over! Uh, flip! Gary, <laughs> put it down. He said flip it over, so there you go. Guess what? I had 19, so I win. Yay. <laughs> okay, what did I get? Well, I won. Okay, 19. Yeah, okay, now what? Won. Hold on. What did, what did I? Come on, flip the card over. Come on. What did I get? Uh, ah, no! I saw that was an eight or a nine, so I win. I win. Fuck you. I win. Let's keep it oh, going. That was oh, 21, even better. Fuck you. Okay. Ah, oh, no, God damn it. Okay. 13 against the dealers. Uh, your cards. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I get the dealer. Five. Oh. I, I'm going to stand on that one. Well, yeah, that's a bus card. God. Yeah, I know. Austin, Austin, your cards blow more ass than Gary does with Thai food. Oh, for heaven's sake. 17. Stay. Bust. <laughs> Like a like a milf with big bosoms. Bust. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's better. Bust out them bosoms. Okay, eight, six. Oh, yeah. Okay, 12. Okay. <laughs> he barbles this on funny. You know what he said? At least those cars don't have Coca-Cola on. <laughs> I'm drinking cherry Coke, so. No, remember the cards I had where he just. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Because no, I remember it, that was done by uh, uh, T uh, Tarantoski, who is a legend in the animated show. Um, 12. Hit, 12. Twelve hit me. Yeah. Oh, Fuck. Gonna get a ten. Oh, oh, booby. That was just Whoa. bad luck right there. Yeah, I split them sixes. Damn. Okay. Like I'm gonna split your ass cheeks with my big fat. Oh, number thirteen. Your big fat thirteen. Actually, I'm gonna stay. Okay. Another six? Oh my god. Six, six, six. That's a sign of the devil's anus, Gary. Well, I'm going to split him again. Split him uh, again. Oh my god. Eleven. Double. Double. Jeez. Come on, give me a face card. Give me a face card. Give me a face card. Put the card down. Put the card down. You stupid nickel poop. You got. You bus. Bigfoot bus scratch, you asshole. Next up. Eight. Double. Yeah! Lucky and I'm going to double on the 8. That's a 19! <laughs> you lucky mother. <laughs> okay, 5. Come on. Come on. Uh -oh, I hate nine. you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! Yay, I win. So I lose the 13. Well, you know, and I lose the 19. Because I lost all together. But I got the double on the 20, so Gary wins. I lost all by... bad luck, Gary. Yeah, I so Gary yes. beat me by two. Yeah, I'm nine minus two. Okay, I got yeah. seven. Uh, hit me. I picked the wrong week to quit drinking. Oh, seven. Stand. 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 Fourteen. Hit. Oh, come oh. on! The queen butt fucked me. Yay. And that queen was Captain Bust, bust, bust. <laughs> but except it wasn't because say she's like, that's what you get, you. Asshole. You busted, you mother f. Yeah, I busted, and you win. You get a win. Oh, you and Tanner. Tanner goes, why does Romy remind me of Otis and WWE? See, you tell me I get the bang. Um, What's her name? I don't know. Mandy. Um, oh. Mandy Rose? I don't know. Man yeah, it doesn't mean I get to bang Mandy Rose. Apparently, uh, I will stand but... here. 17, stand. <laughs> Mike, you asshole. That's funny. Bus card five, Romy. Hey, you're uh, oh, uh, best card. Uh, stay. And you've seen Otis in the gym? Motherfucker can lift some weight, dude. That guy is a monster. Yeah, Mandy Rose, her and that camel toe. Will you do the best WWE matches of the decade? Yes, I will. 13. Come on, big number. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Mike's even less. I win. Showcasing his true Canadian pride. You know what? I just noticed a lot of sexy, gorgeous, blonde women are from Canada. I, oh, that they, yes, that they are. No, they are. It's on Scott's truth. 
19. I am going to stand on that one. He's going to have twice. a fucking 20. Watch. Never. Oh, okay. No bust, nine. Bust. Oh, come on. I win. You son of a bitch. I have a crush on Liv Morgan. Too bad they're booking her like shit. Like she's a, she's a lesbian to uh, 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 uh to uh Lana. P- come on, Ace and oh, I, 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 oh, I saw that too. I it. saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Garrett. I get three queens. Uh, I get three queens. Unlike you, you fucking full house. <laughs> <laughs> so you, f- <laughs> Gary's not happy. <laughs> he just wants you to lose. That's no, it. he's more like a royal flush when he's taking a dump. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. Hey, guy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Gary would be great at poker. <laughs> yeah, I'd be good at poking her too. <laughs> All right, let's play a couple more rounds. Dingleberry. <laughs> Look at that, baby! I get three aces. <laughs> no, that's three queens with three three queens with three beautiful asses. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's All a right, big. Man. That's Come a on, nice a hole. <gasps> Twenty. Uh, 11. Ooh, double, double, double. I'm going to DP your booty hole. Here it comes. Ah, no, 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 no. Why was that card? Why was that? No, we're done. <laughs> what was He's that not card, happy. He's no. not happy. I'm not happy. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't, he's not happy. There you go. What's That's wrong, funny. Mr. Fucking Coconut? I am, <laughs> nutsack? I have it. Not having it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whatever. You the porcupine. Fuck. You porcupine. Four plus nine. That's um thirteen, right? Yeah. Four plus nine is thirteen. Um. Uh... No, it's actually eleven. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Uh, I, I, I it's thirteen, Romy. I know that. Uh, I'll go with the hit. Hit me. Yeah. Get, yeah. Lucas's age. Oh, 14. Oof. Hit me? Baby, one more time. A 15! <laughs> okay. One more. Hit me, baby, one more time. 17 from five cards. Stand. 14, Ooh. I'm going to hit. If I get a 7, I'm going to fucking die. Okay, 18. Not bad. He's probably going to have 20. You son of a bitch. Oh, 12. Come on. Come on. Come. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> You son you of a bitch. You motherfucker. <laughs> he's happy. Oh, he's out. Yeah. As long as he wins, that's all he cares about. Well, Gary, unlike my hand, you're not going to get three queens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a couple more games. We're getting close to two and a half hour mark. <laughs> okay. Hikaru Shida is going to be your queen, and you're going to be the king, and you're going to be royalty. Is that She's going to continue blowing you even after, even after you've gone all over. Um, uh, oh, God. 15. That's the sick with the gone girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. What do you want from me? <laughs> I think well, we've already established that, Romy. I know. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I did it. That's all that I, matters. No, I did not. You're cheating. You're cheating. I'm not cheating. All achievements have been disabled because you're cheating. Okay, here we go. Um, Oscar's a 20. Come on, give me an ace. That give me a... Oh, oh, I saw that. Oh, I saw that. I know what it is. I know. Hey, Gary, what card is that? Mm. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. No, that, I had a 9 or a 10. I, 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 oh, yeah. You put it back in the stack. You fucking plot hole. We're done. I'm not going to bother. Fuck you. You like miss some more bullshit? 20. Hooray. 15, you're hitting? Okay. 
Okay. I, <laughs> I, I win. Sir. Don't mad at that because you're cheating. You're you're cheating. You're cheating the system. You're using a game genie. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Or a game shark. Um, a game shark. That's the yeah, that's the <laughs> 13 against the dealers four. That's 14, you dumb shit. Whatever the fuck it is. Uh it's, stay. Stay. It is, it's actually 14. Not, stay. Not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not uh, I want him to bust. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, six. Come on. Big number. Big number. Big number. Oh, wait. Six. Thirteen. Okay. Nine or higher. Nine or higher. Okay. Fifteen. All right. Come on. Ah! <laughs> oh, where's... Okay, hold on a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Look at it. Right. Uh. Oh, I just realized I won. Oh! I won. I won. I'm so glad I mentioned this. <laughs> I won, Gary. I won. Is, um, Eddie, is Gary Eddie Guerrero? He lied, cheats, and steals. Yep. Win, that's all that's Rest in peace, Eddie Guerrero. I miss Eddie Guerrero. Oh, Wonder. you still want Romy to win? I see what this is. Um, yeah, I don't want. I don't want that. I don't want. Mm, Wait, no, Mor Captain Morgan knows how to play with your deck of cards. I have a nineteen. Oh, okay, I'll st I'll stand. Come on. Uh, Twelve. Stay. I want you to bust like a milf's big titties. Oh my god. I used to know about that. Sharpie monster? <laughs> the big, yeah, Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter ascending. <laughs> Except I bet you that's better than the movie. Never even seen that movie, Jupiter ascending. Well, you know, it's not good. You know, you, know, you know the real, you know the real story. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> uh, top ten bed films of two thousand three. I'm not sure if I did. I, I can do that list in the future. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah! Big number! Big, ah! <laughs> Here we go again. I gotta do my left nipple now with this. Okay, look at this. Look at this. See? Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I gotta get an ice cube next. <laughs> Gary's not having it, dude. You see how he's quiet? <laughs> see? <laughs> Oh shit! I think I shit! Oh! Hold on! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I think you made him shit. Right, is, is the baby okay? Is the baby upset? Oh, Air camera's oh, out of focus even more, so. We're done. We're done. <laughs> We're done. We're done. We're done. Is the baby upset? I don't fucking like you. Is the baby Shut upset? The fuck up. <laughs> We're done. We're done playing. We're done. I, 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 I can't anymore. The baby. No. We're done. I can't handle this shit anymore. Fucking three goddamn queens. Two fucking angels. Goddamn twenty and another shit. And a little stuff. bit of liquid mush. You know what? what? It didn't did. hit my. It didn't hit my underwear. Damn it, Gary. That's what we're done playing. After that, no, we're no, we're not done yet. We're done. I don't want to play no more. It's why? Fun. Why not, Gary? You're a sore loser. Gary, five minutes past show. No, it's three show. minutes. It's three minutes. It's actually three, three minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Three minutes. Three, two hours. One, and two, you started a minute or two seven, late. You. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. You started late, Gary. You yeah. started late. Thirty. You know what Romy is? Two thirty-three. Not two thirty-five. You, know, you know what Romy is? A potato sack. All right. Does that mean it, <laughs> wait, one more? That's fair. Wait. One more. Oh, this is gonna. Hey, Captain Morgan. So if I'm a potato sack, does that mean I can teabag you? <laughs> I don't want an image of that in my head. She's gonna fucking kill me! <laughs> Thanks for that image in my head, Romy. <laughs> I can just see her. She's like, <laughs> you're in the doghouse. By the way, hit me. Aww. That's just okay. bad luck right 15? There. Ooh. I'm gonna say hit. Come on now. Give me a good card. Give me a good card. Oh, That's all that fucking matters to me. I bet you set that up. I didn't. <laughs> Hashtag Romy two T O O. <laughs> hey, let's go to three. Let's go to two thirty five. Then how about that? Two thirty five. Uh, hit me. 
Uh, uh wait, eight. Oh, That's eleven. Good. That's oh, there you go. Come on. Should I double down on that one? No, you can't. You can only do it on your first hand. God damn it. Uh, but that's 11. I hit that motherfucker. Hit. Of course. Hit. 20. Ooh, yeah. Damn. Packers lost to the Buccaneers. They got their ass kicked. Nine hit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it gave me high I can't shit. I already let that out. <laughs> I just want to see what Gary's hand went just for the hell of it. What's this? Man? What's this? <laughs> you had you laid down like three eights. That could have gave you twenty one. <laughs> okay, I hope he gets an eight here. And then he'll bust. Please, please. And what, what do you get? What do you get? What do you, you see? Ah! <laughs> Even better. <laughs> we win. We win. We win. Ronnie, when? You, you will know my wrath. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is fucking dying. We win, Gary. <laughs> Rowan and I won. Giants or Yankees? I'm yanking my giant right now. <laughs> I want to know that. <laughs> That's just a bet, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass out from laughing. It's like Mike says if looks can kill. <laughs> Gary looks like he's ready to murder me. <laughs> when doesn't he? Hey, hey, hey Gary, no, Gary! Gary is mad. Playing solitaire till dawn with a deck of 51. <laughs> oh my god. Watching Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> Alright, well, let, let, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Um, my butthole has never been more pulsating. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> I hope yours was, Gary, after I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for him to knock some shit over. Looks like the movie Unfriended up here. Yeah, that movie's called Mother. <laughs> hey, Gary, I can tell you're watching porn from the reflection. <laughs> Never knew you're in the bestiality. Oh my god. Shut up, Jerome! Quit spinning the... Okay, Romy, shut up. And let me I don't care how many times he spins that motherfucker. We gotta you... end. I hope it lands on Blackjack again. You know why Gary has those... Come on, let it, let it spin out. <laughs> Gary. You know what? I broke his pride. <laughs> I think I spun that again just to spite you. Never mind. Did it land up? It landed on Blackjack! <laughs> I see it! <laughs> oh this is one of the greatest fucking segments ever! <laughs> you spin me right round, baby, right round! That baby is not happy right now. Hey, Captain Morgan says, oh, Gary, you can spin me right around. That would be greatly appreciated, too, Miss Miss Morgan. <laughs> all right, all right. I hate everybody! <laughs> hey, Gary, I know a game you can play. 52. Hey, no, oh, excuse me, not... 51 card no, pickup. We're doing blackjack, Gary. No, you it's... can't do the same game twice. You can't do the oh, same game damn twice. damn it. Never mind. My bad. That's my bad. It just stopped. What? It stopped on both of something. Nope. Gary, it stopped. I saw it stop. Nope. It probably stopped on blackjack again, didn't it? Well, no. It, we're about to end, uh, uh, Benjamin. But you, if you missed the last segment, oh my god, it's one of the greatest fucking segments we've ever done. Because, like I said, it's unscripted, but how it turned out, we could not predict. That's no. what makes the best segments. It's the segments that you don't predict what's going to turn out that good. 
<laughs> it's spinning it. Scribble. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm into that. That's the game we'll play next. Scribble. Cool. Okay. I like that. Speaking of, hey Austin, oh. <laughs> draw a face. <laughs> more like more like a skull, right? Is that Big Ben? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't think Gary's very happy with us. I'm not. <laughs> hey, it's, it's not our fault that you suck. <laughs> hey, Gary, let's play. Let's play five car stud next. <laughs> By the way, Gary, how many uncharted games are there? <laughs> <laughs> as far as many cars that he threw on the table, six. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Guys, thanks for joining another Wake Up the Show. That was a good one. Gary's not very... Okay, do you want me to apologize, Gary? I ain't apologizing shit. Okay, that's a note then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you all for tuning in for another edition of this program that I now absolutely hate with a burning passion. No? Gary, I want you to be a blackjack dealer. <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> That's not even a joke. I actually would. Purple. <laughs> Huber. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to say anymore. Can you imagine he was de a dealer blackjack and then slapjack from the retribution game? <laughs> I wonder how that would turn out. Does that mean this show is canceled? Far from it, my friend. Mm -mm. Anyways. Voice cube. <laughs> anyway. Would you be quiet, Romy? <laughs> huh? Lasagna. <laughs> I'm about to leave myself at this point. <laughs> I'm not into Yu-Gi-Oh, unfortunately. Sorry. That's going to have to do it for this episode of both of us. I hope you all stay tuned for next week's episode. More content being provided, as usual. Boy, with, whatever, with whatever I can hopefully... Like the boy talk. <laughs> hopefully whatever I can bring to the table for you folks to enjoy stay tuned for the next program Monday 5pm Eastern Standard I want to get the fuck out of here <laughs> kaboom my favorite Atari game <laughs> oh my god speed of kaboom Gary's britches hey uh, Romy <laughs> shut the fuck <laughs> I love Pendulette. <laughs> That's actually nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Well, okay. Uh, I'm not gonna do my final. Like you know, I'm too tired. That wore me out. I'm not gonna look up anything because that gave me the massive erection hard on, and then the ending made me bust my load. Except it went in my britches. So, boy, actually. Stay tuned, and once again, motherfucker Vince Russo. Now, if you excuse me, I am going to look up some sexy, hot, transsexual porn starring Gary's favorite and one of my favorites, Phoenix Lux. Good day, everybody. <laughs>